Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. You need to hear this. It's very important. Listen up. Greens are the ultimate daily gut health supplement made with over 30 plus organic fruits, vegetables, probiotics, and antioxidants. Greens can help balance and clear your skin, boost your energy, and aid in digestion. And it's been a little over two weeks since I started taking Bloom every day consistently, and I have noted such an improvement in my skin. And also, I never knew I was that bloated before, but girl, I don't be bloated anymore. I actually feel like morning skinny all day. So go ahead, click the link in my bio and shop Bloom, and thank you again to them for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I licked my lips first because they're dry. Welcome back to a vlog. It is actually Monday. It's Labor Day. We have just been in the bed. Well, I've just been in the bed all day and I can never put my finger on it. I'm like, what is this? Why am I so tired? I'm about to start my period. Does anybody else feel like my period comes way faster than theirs? Because I swear I just had my period. And my app says it's gonna start in four days, but I feel like it's gonna start today or tomorrow because I'm already really crampy and I'm super tired. And always, like right before my period, I'm exhausted. Like I cannot even keep my eyes awake, exhausted. It's actually becoming a problem. Kids didn't have school today or Cardi didn't have school today. So we've really just been hanging out all day. I was up earlier this morning and I was just, I was trying to spend some time with God. I'm real crampy, I'm irritable. <laughs> just like, so we're just taking a chill day, relaxing. The kids are still asleep. Carter doesn't nap though, so I took a nap. And Carter politely has already woken me up twice from my nap and told me I need to get the hell up because he made something in his room that he wants me to see. So, uh, now that I said I'm cramping, I'm like really starting to cramp. Yikes. Anywho, I just wanna start the vlog somewhere because I was like, you don't start it, girl. It's gonna start in the middle of the week on a random day because you just can't get your life together. So I was like, Say what's up to the girls. I don't even know what we did yesterday. All of yesterday is literally a blur because I'm pretty sure I slept for the majority of the day yesterday too. <laughs> like it was Sunday, which was the day after Carson's party. We woke up, took decorations down. It ended up storming and it hasn't rained in Texas. And like actually rained, rained in Texas in like months. And so it like stormed all yesterday. So we were just inside. We ended up doing takeout for dinner. Went to sleep early, early-ish. I tried to go to sleep early. Ended up staying up too late. That's my bad. But anyways, it's 2 p.m. in the afternoon. We just been sleeping, girl. You ain't miss nothing. I'm about to go check on Carter. Let's see what he's up to. It's stinks. It smells like socks. And hey, Mom. Hi, babe. Hi. Like, I really live with boys. Ooh. I'm about to do 
You guys are stinky winky. Are you going in there? Is that one gonna be yours? No, this one is mine. What? I think my little call dips. Let's get the other ones up the room. Okay, you go get it. I'll stay here. I need some push-ups to do. You just don't want him to take your spot. Here I go. What? Here I go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh. Your mom would fix it. Mommy, all this stuff. If it be like that, it'll slip. Hey, Mark. Yay. Oh, I got a little seat. Yeah. It's walking talking. Mommy, that's going to be yours. Yeah, this one's mine. Oh, we need to get one of those cool lights in here that, like, does the stars and all that. Mommy, I'm getting out of the box. It's like a movie. What do we want to watch while we do it? Please do it. Thor is Loki my favorite adventure, not gonna lie. Okay, we gotta figure out. Uh, her daughter, his daughter is sick. Um, you know how to put it together? Well, go ahead then. Put it together then. Where's your cord? It's right here. Ready, set, go. Ready? Set. You cheating! What did I go? Mom, where did my car go? I just took a bath for the first time in months. We're eating Domino's today. I got something different. I got a veggie chicken pizza. Everyone's eating. Cheers. This is the evening. We're about to sit right here. Watch a movie. Why do you call yourself all the time? We talked about this last week. I don't appreciate y'all constantly trying to get on me. You're paying for the people. You're the business? Let's watch Aladdin. Oh, Hollywood. Hey, Mom. Sorry for the steering wheel of you. I haven't moved my mouth yet into this car, but it's Carson's birthday. Happy birthday. He keeps telling us we need to sing. <laughs> I was singing to him this morning and he was like, louder, I can't hear you. I said, oh, excuse me. But anyways, we just dropped a car off at school. We're headed to go get donuts, which I actually need to put on them in the maps. I'm looking for the one on Singleton. Where is the donut shop on Singleton? I will see you guys when we get to the donut shop. Y'all will not believe this. Hello. The walkie-talkies are speaking Spanish. Or somebody's on the other end of them. I'm like, can they hear us? Hello. Can you hear me? Oh my God, y'all gotta hear this. This is insane. Mommy, a sprinkle got out. Some sprinkles. I should have got some sprinkles. <laughs> I'm like, I gotta answer. Somebody else got it. Because how can you fix that? How are they on the same channel? <laughs> Insane. Okay. Carson's eating his donut outside with Mello. We don't have any plans for today. It's gonna be 102 degrees outside today. And I keep asking Carson, what does he wanna do? And he keeps saying nothing. 
Then he said, well, we could go to Florida. And I said, well, y'all hear it? I don't think they can hear it. Hello? Hola. No espanol. Can you hear me? Yes or no? You're done. <laughs> Anyways, I'm about to get ready, kind of-ish, not really, probably switch into some different pajamas, but, cause I don't think we're doing anything today, so I think we're just gonna set up. I think I was telling y'all, I got some like stuff for their playroom so we could be more of like learning based. So all that stuff came in from Amazon last week. So we might do that today. We might go out for lunch or something for his birthday. I don't really know where the day is gonna take us yet, but like I said, I'm gonna be on my period, so. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm very much tired. But anyways, I'm about to hop in the shower. Just rinse off so I can start my day. Skincare. Do my Bible time. And then we'll see where the day leads us. because that's where their markers and crayons and stuff are gonna be. I'll show y'all the full thing, but I don't know if it's giving a hot mess or if it's cute. I haven't decided yet. But I wanted the posters to kind of be low enough that they could still like see them and reach them, point to them and that kind of thing. And then I got the cork board over here so they can put like their finished work on it or if we have assignments for the day, it can go on the cork board and then over here on this wall I got a decal that's coming in the mail and it's basically like a place where you can play with magnets and dry erase board so that's why I left this wall blank over here I just think these posters are really aesthetic and fun so that's why I put them on the wall but now it's giving I need to paint the wall or do some type of like something because the wall is just white but you know we'll we'll get to it when we get to it here's a better view of like the table and chairs i think it's cute oh i have some other posters that came but i don't know where to put these because it was only a four pack but this says like united states world map and then the only one that's different than the ones up there is this one has the seasons which i think is cute but again i don't have anywhere to put that right now so i have two more things to open up the first one is this little book holder okay. i thought this was really cute to like put books in or just like whatever so I'm gonna put that right there. I got 
put in these daily menus a long time ago, but I finally got the printouts to put in here. So I need to print them out. I have a printer, but I don't have ink in the printer. So I'm either going to go to FedEx or get some printer ink. This is the last thing I have to open. It's a paper roll dispenser. This part is the part where you like push down to cut the paper, I think. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna have to reorder this because there's no way, like, this part is too far bent. Like, I couldn't even. I was gonna say maybe I could hot glue it, but I don't think I could hot glue it because it's not gonna stay in place. Okay. Well, essentially, this paper goes on there, and then you just put it at the edge of the table, and then you can roll the paper out, so they always have paper to color on. But, um, yeah, it's broken, so. Lovely. Love that, love that. Okay, this is what it looks like for now. I'm going to put our markers, pencils, crayons in the little bins, and just some other little stuff that they need, and then... I'm waiting for the little thing to come, like I said, but this is what we're working with so far. And then I'm probably get like a rug in here. We're not done, but this is just, you know, somewhere to start. Did make a huge mess, but we're gonna have to worry about that later because you hear kids? No, they're sleeping. So I'm about to take a nap because my naps have really been coming in clutch and allowing me to be any better human being so you're supposed to make your bed so you don't get back in it but says who you're not gonna mess it up all the way we're just gonna get a little nap <laughs> everybody's crying now, so that's not a good sign I haven't looked at myself yet, so don't be scared. <laughs> I could hear all the posters fall off the wall when I laid down to take a nap. Didn't really get much of a nap today because the kids took an early nap, but I had to wait because the guy was mowing the lawn, but I heard the posters falling, so. Shout out to the scotch tape for holding it down. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. <sighs> but since we're up early for my nap, we don't have to leave for a little while because I'm going to pick them up. We need to put you some clothes on, naked boy. You're always naked. Everybody's like, why are you always naked? Say, because I make a mess. Because I pee on myself. Because I put food everywhere. Because I, I get into everything. I've already spilled things 12 times today. And he eats like this. And that says potty work, girl. Yeah, I'm saying potty work. I want to make it today. Oh, I was about to say stay up for now. I don't have thumbtacks to thumbtack them, but I think Mommy. I'm not gonna keep looking. Here we go, that's yours. You like sitting here? Yay! We have a table, a nice table. <coughs> okay. Mommy, can we watch some TV? Spider-Man Killer! <laughs> Oh. 
watch that that spoon. Okay. I'm gonna watch that later. I'm gonna Carter get some. So where's the spoon? Is that the spoon you do? Yeah, there's like this new Scooby Doo. Out. It's that Scooby Doo, Mama. I'm really sorry you guys have to see me like this. I look like a disaster. But I think what I'm going to do for now is just um, thumbtacks. And then I'm going to hang up like a couple on the wall, but not all of those. And then I'm either going to get a wallpaper decal or I want to paint this wall. I think that's what I want to do. Also, I don't know what to do about this pimple right here. It will not pop. My skin is looking so good. Look at my skin. Okay? Look at my skin. Y'all know how it's been looking these past couple weeks? I got one pimple, but other than that, it looks so good. I know this boy is trying to get into the toilet. I just don't know why he's trying to play with me. Look at him. Or the sink. You think you're so slick. You're not. That's why you can't reach that sink. His new thing is playing in the sink. Anywhere he can reach. And he broke the childproof thing off of the door. So. Well that. He's trying to wave, y'all can't see. Say hi. Come on, let's go put your clothes on. So, before we have to go put your clothes on. Come on, man. Come here. Hey. What do I see? Nobody can see you because you, there you go. Ha. 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 Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Mwah. Bye bye. Hello. Bye bye. Mwah. Hey. Bye bye. Because you're about to put clothes on. Bye bye. Mwah. Can you show me? Shh. So cute. Show me shh. Show me shh. No. He refuses to be my circus monkey. I'm like, it's so disrespectful. Anytime you tell your kids to do a trick, when someone's watching, they act slow. Okay, I'm about to get him clothes on and then fix my hair a little bit. I'm already ready to get my hair redone, honestly. I started off taking care of it well, but now it's a mess. It's so mad. Let's put clothes on, Pop Pop. What? What's that? Gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. Ooh. Do your face. Here you go. Wash your hair tonight. We have not been, well, since Saturday. Nobody's got their hair done at all. We need to get, and y'all need to get braids again. You need some braids again. Just a suggestion in case anyone needs it. If you're a mom and your kids are like at that age where they start pulling off regular diapers, but they're not ready to be potty trained, please get Pampers 360. Please, please, they will save your life. When are you gonna potty train? You got eye boogers. We got eye boogers. Should we go get ice cream? I think we should get ice cream because it's brother's birthday. If you haven't already ordered your Halloween costumes, I'm not going to remind y'all too many more times. It's September. The good ones are about to be out of stock. We're going to go fall and winter shopping soon. So don't worry about it. Put your arms in there. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here. You missed. You missed. Yep. All done. Mwah, there you go. Good job. Good job, sweetie. Why are you starting to be clingy all of a sudden? He wants me to hold him 24-7. It recently just started. Are you doing wheels on the bus? Wheels on the bus go. Yeah. Shh, shh, shh. Come on, Nico. 
first of all i think it's so rude that the wheels on the bus song goes the mommy's on the bus go shh shh sh but the daddy's on the bus go i love you people are always trying to give dads their flowers please please yeah let's get ready the wheels on the bus go round and round round and round round and round Translated. I heard that. Wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. Someone said I I was gonna get ready, but apparently I'm not. Someone said that I should try doing the carpool line and going exactly at the time the carpool line starts because today's one of those days i really don't feel like getting out of the car like i do not want to walk it's 102 through the town yay what were you doing the doors on the bus go open and close open and close open and close See how long that lasts okay i'm gonna change the sticker first of all these stick to your face real bad the grip on these insane it doesn't just come off like a regular mighty patch or like patch i mean they really they really grip everything like they do not want you to take them off till they're ready but this one looks pretty full so i'm about to take it off but like y'all it's pulling my skin. Ow. Ow. I was really hoping this was gonna pop on its own or the gunk was gonna come out, but it's really just taking forever. And then it's all red because I literally have been like, it's like bruised because I've been squeezing it so hard, which I know I shouldn't be doing, but I don't care. I had one right here, the same exact thing, and I popped it and all the stuff came out and went away. And I just got this one left. But other than that, my skin looks immaculate. So good. Shout out to SkinCeuticals. Can't remember why I stopped using SkinCeuticals, but this will save your life. It's super pricey, but honestly, if you look at the vlog last week and you saw my skin, you see my skin this week, I've only been using this for like four days. Less, like less than that. It's the CE Ferulic Salomirin. And then what really made me go back to SkinCeuticals is I saw this girl on TikTok, of course, and she was using this. And she uses it for her redness in her skin and like with her skin barrier. And y'all know, if you know me, I'm always red. Like if I'm breaking out, it's always like really, really red. So I was like, I want to try this. So I got a couple other things from SkinCeuticals. But you can spray this on your face any time of the day. And I'm about to reapply my sunscreen, so I'm going to reapply it and i'm going to reapply this because you can put this on your face multiple times a day as well i can't pick you up you are literally ginormous you know you weigh like 50 pounds 
Anyways, you can put this on your spots as much as you want throughout the day. So that's kind of what I've been doing. I normally don't put the dropper on my face like this, but for holding a toddler sick. And you only use a little bit of it. Like it's expensive, but it will last you. I feel like these used to last me a couple months. Like you only use three to five drops on your whole face and then you should be good. I should have put some on my little thing before I put the sticker over it. But anyways, they have two versions of it, just in case you're interested. I get the one that's for acne. Uh, you better not. When you spill this, we gonna have to sell you because that's how much this costs. You feel me? <laughs> I get the one with the salicylic acid acne treatment one. So it's the Salomirin CF, the regular one or the other one. It doesn't have the salicylic acid in it, but since I'm acne prone right now, I got that one and it's really been helping. And then I also got their daily um, micro exfoliating scrub and you use it every single day. And it's just like a gentle exfoliator and it's a mechanical exfoliator. So it just helps with skin renewal, which I feel like is better for my skin than chemical exfoliants because they really damage my skin barrier. And then I've also been cleansing with the Simple Clean Cleanse Gel. I used to love this i used to use this all the time and then i'm still using oh you getting down cool he's just gonna get into my stuff lovely i think i'm gonna try to go through the carpool line today but i'm gonna take somebody's advice and i'm gonna wait it's not gonna be a big deal if i'm not like the first person to pick him up because they get to watch movies during carpool i guess apparently since it takes so long movies y'all movies anyways and he always is like mom i didn't get a chance to eat my snack because you can't pick me up i was like okay we're gonna try to go through the carpool line today at the normal release time somebody said go at the release time and don't try to get there early and see how fast it goes so we're gonna see one with my l2md here try this He's doing like this, like putting stuff on his face. Kids mimic everything you do. Put that headband on. Good job. No, put it on. Put it on your head like this. Good job. Hold your hair back. Good job. I haven't drink water all day. My lips are actually crusty. Maybe I'll do my nighttime skincare with y'all tonight if I remember. What I've been using as a moisturizer though is this. And it has been, my I'm telling y'all, my skin looks so good. I mean, it doesn't look perfect, but compared to like what it was last week, Cause this could have like spiraled away out of control. Cause there was a time last year when I was having like really bad acne. What do you need? You want to put some stuff on your face? Rolling up your sleeves? Or are you wiping this stuff off? You need to blow your nose? What are you doing? You want to do your hair? Since everybody's always like, you know what he was here. Let me show you. I can show you right now. By the time he goes to bed, his hair ain't gonna look good. We all have low porosity hair. And so our hair just doesn't stay moisturized and it always looks dry. And then his doesn't help because it's so light. I need to get you a place to come. Did I already ask y'all about the Love Every? Let me know. Does anybody like Love Every before I buy it? See, his hair is super low frosty. The water is just like rolling off of his hair. It's just rolling. Rolling in the river, rolling, rolling. You know what I think I'm gonna start listening to? Old, old school music. Not necessarily old school R&B, but like Barbara Ann, a Brown Eyed Girl. I don't know who sings those songs, but I just remember listening to DVDs in the car or CDs in the car when I was little with my Nana and she would always just be singing those songs. You're so smart. Are you so smart? You remind me of Carter so much. Okay. What you, what you, what you, what you know about me? What you, what you know? Hi. Ready? One, two, three. Look at my hair. Now wait till we get out the car. I know, you just wanna play in the sink. You just wanna use me to play in the sink. No, thank you. All done. Let's go fill up our cups so we can have our cups. Dry your hands. All done. There you go. Good job. All done. Take a breath. Yeah, good job. Yeah, a big breath. No spitting.
Yeah. <laughs> He's insane. Ah! You're crazy in the head. Loco. You are ah! loco. Okay, I want to move my... See, the skin is looking glowing. And then you got this one pimple. Okay. Anyways. I'm going to go... It's... 2.40, my alarm's about to go off in five minutes for a wake up. Let's go to the car. Let's go to the car and we can move our, move our car mounts around and get some water for ourselves. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, we need our purse. We're rolling on the river, rolling. Can you say rolling? They rolling. Let's if any of the Patricias could see my kitchen right now, they would be in shambles. Because it's actually a mess. <laughs> it's actually a mess. And guess what I did today? Instead of choosing to slave over the house, I took a nap. Gotcha. People be so mad. Like, does everybody's house not get dirty? Like, I mean, just like in general, like you, you use stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm not complaining. It just it is what it is. Okay, I'm gonna get mad because my freezer is not making ice. And all I want is some cold water. First, the freezer started, went out. And you know, everybody said on TikTok that Samsung's wasn't shit. And now here I am, and my ice maker is not working. Where is the ice? Hello? Hello? a single piece of ice in like the past five hours. I will throw this whole thing away. Because I got this all because of this beverage dinner right here. And I honestly, is it really worth the hype? I don't know. The kids have football today, so I'm going to clean up when they go to football. But we got our factor meals in, so let me go grab those off the front porch so we can put those away really fast. Factor! Okay. We got our meals. Ooh. Get $120 off Good Chop. They always send, get a free box or a factor. Anyways, I got some factor meals because not only do I feel like they're good lunches, but I was thinking I can also use this if I don't want to dinner this is like meal prep do you get what I'm saying I got you can't really see what they are until I make them but I got Mexican style beef Italian herb chicken white creamy cauliflower rice garlic green beans mushroom chicken thighs I pretty much got like two of everything but the food is really good and I can also give it to mellow so instead of getting like four I got eight this is not all of them but I got about eight. The fridge right now looks like who did it and why, but oh, there's only one more. I'm going to organize it later. I had no kind of Sunday reset today. I mean, this week because of the holiday weekend and then having the party. I was just drained. But anyways, I figure I can eat the factory meals for lunch. And then on those days where I'm, I don't feel like cooking right at five o'clock, but Mello still needs to eat dinner and get ready to bed. Because Carter and Carson can really wait to eat longer because they eat a ton of snacks when they come home anyways. Um, and they don't go to sleep till a little while later. If I want to cook later, then I can. Or even if I want to give them to Carter and Carson, it just alleviates some of that pressure of having to have dinner done. But I am planning on cooking today. So well, they go to practice at six. By the time I get home to get Carter after I go through the car line, we probably won't be home until 4.30, honestly. Because I want to go to Brahms and get ice cream. You know, as a birthday treat for Carson. Or partially for me. But that just sounds really good right now. Get some ice cream. Also, I've been giving Carmelo coconut water. And he's been loving it. So if you have a toddler and they don't like regular water. Because he doesn't like regular water. Or like he won't drink a lot of it. Coconut water. Try coconut water. I'm really mad because ever since I told y'all, and I'm not I'm not just saying me, maybe you not did me, but the Creative Roots coconut water that I used to always get for the kids, it's always out of stock. I can never get it. And I'm not blaming you guys, but mm, somebody else has been buying it too. Okay. I'll see y'all when we get in the car. Woo! 
I don't really know how I feel about this angle, but we're gonna rock with it. <laughs> okay, we're here at 3.15 and this is the actual time that the car line is supposed to start moving into the roundabout. So, it's 3.15. I forgot, she said get here at actual school pickup time, 3.30. I bring. We'll try that maybe tomorrow, but it's 3.15. Let's see how far we get or how long it takes. I just wanted to say these mother effers are grimy out here. The line finally started moving. It's 3.23. Hold on, Moana. And people literally just drive up and cut in the line, like wherever they can fit in. And it's insane because this minivan is trying to, you're not even in a small sedan. It's a minivan trying to cut in front of people, hauling ass. Oh, I'm not saying I wouldn't do it, but. That just feels a little insane. Like literally, that is insane. People are just going up in front of the line and then just hopping in wherever they can. Oh, we'll say less, because I'll be parking right here on the corner and yeeting my way into the line. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the way people cut in line is insane. Oh, we can cut? Oh, everybody's about to be mad. You're about to be mad. You're about to be mad, because tomorrow? Mm. Yeah, cutting, I'm cutting, I'm cutting. Nobody has any respect these days, that's all I can say. That's the kind of example we're sending for our children. Cutting in line. 335. School's been out for five minutes. Haven't moved. I know it sounds insane because I'm like, it's five minutes and it hasn't moved. But like, think about if you got off of work and you didn't get to leave work for an hour and a half after the time you're supposed to clock out. You get what I'm saying? Like, it just doesn't feel, it doesn't feel right. This hair is a mess. But at least we have movies in the back of this car or screens. So they're watching the water. Secure the bag. What? There's some gum color. Sure, but we're about to go get ice cream. What? We're about to get ice cream. Brahms is close, so we're impulsively going to Chili's because it was the next closest thing. So. Mommy, can we go on Bill Gates and Bowling Bowling for my birthday? Not today. Y'all gotta go to football practice in a couple hours. So we really should just go in here and eat. And then people should be somewhere for my birthday. I swear when I asked him this morning, Carter. he was like, anyone do anything for a birthday? Carter! Yeah. I don't mind. Okay, do y'all want to go to Chili's? I'm starting to regret this. <laughs> or we can go to Chick-fil-A and get some ice cream through the drive-thru. Chick-fil-A. Yeah, girl. Go to Chick-fil-A. Okay. Yeah, Carter, <laughs> we can probably do go to Chili's upstairs. I just wanted some chips and salsa from Chili's, but Chick-fil-A is cool, too. Mine. Okay, let me put my seatbelt on. Are you... Oh, you... Do y'all want chicken nuggets? Yeah. Uh, can I get a name for the order? Carter. Can I do uh, an eight count nugget meal? Can I do lemonade? And then can I have three ice cream cones in a cup? Oh, thank you. I'll find that. Aww. I got one. And you board my boat. Yes. Yeah. Can kids get freebies for their birthday? <laughs> well, I'm so glad that I set up that table today because guess what? We have our first homework page. Tomatoes. You go to school for eight hours, come home and do homework. I don't believe in homework, but that does not worry really me. Because why are you there for eight hours if you still have to come home and do it? Yeah. It's giving teach one subject at a time. <laughs> don't let me tell you. I'm just a parent who doesn't know how to teach, who has opinions, that's all. Anyways, he has his homework, so we're gonna go sit at the table and do our homework from football. And then he has his first school project. It's an all about me project. And we have to get a poster board, markers, crayons, family pictures, and decorations. And it has to be in their own handwriting. And it's due September 18th. Why do you keep tooting? You stink. You just keep squirting on me. Or you just wanna poop on me. What's up with you, clingy butt? Say, so look at the back of my hair. 
I mean, it still doesn't look as rough because granted we didn't do anything for it for a couple of days, but it, it's just back dry. And let's see if he ate his lunch. All right, let's go upstairs. I can write for it. Trace down on the sides, cross the middle for fun, to top, top to bottom, and then you're all done. It's okay, I don't know. We don't need to cry about not know how to do it. We just have to practice. Hold your pen. So practice writing in the fire here. This is what we're going to practice on. Side to side. Now down. Go down. Don't okay. get the thing. And then go circle. Right here? Like mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Circle. There you go. Good job. Turn around in February, March, April, May, May, June, July. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 11, 19, 20. Mama, mommy, can you touch me? I'm officially a homework mom. What? We gotta clean this mess up really fast. Yeah, I do. Yeah, you need to start. Clean it up. Yeah, it's your mess. I gotta go to the store and get them some crayons and markers. Okay, I'm going back to sit at the table. And some other supplies. kids are getting ready to leave here in just a minute for football. I'm not feeling that tired, but I low-key just want a reason to try this. I'm sure it'd be way better if it was cold. And if I had ice, I'm sure it would be fantastic. Oh, looky there. We got some ice. These mother... If this fridge is already broken, I'm going to be literally... got five ice cubes this is what i was trying to talk about in my last vlog somebody told me that i should try it's the ice sparkling plus caffeine i got it in the watermelon lemonade flavor hopefully it's better than red bull because red bull literally made me feel like i was gonna have my heart set that's pretty good it's a little strong I said strong like it's liquor or something. I don't know how to explain it. It's very carbonated. But it tastes like energy. A few little dabs of that. It has zero sugar. I mean, this isn't bad. It's just got that, mm, it's gonna give me crackhead energy at six o'clock and I've been trying to go to bed early these days. Anyways, we are going to do a factor meal for Carmelo. Because as soon as they get off to football practice, I'm going to put his meal in and then do his dinner. Get him ready for bed and then I'm going to clean up and cook Carter and Carson's dinner. That way they can eat when they get home from practice. I asked them if they wanted a little snack. They said no. We went to Chick-fil-A. They said no. So hopefully they'd be cool at practice. We get them some Gatorades. But yeah, we got... Some cleaning to do so i'm gonna do judah's bedtime routine and then i'll come back and um we'll clean up what is a disaster of the house which is really just a lived-in home with children who are young that's all <laughs> yeah <laughs> But she don't love me, she's too scary. My hope is fun like Jackie Brown. Hey, buddy. I wanna know what she's too down. Will you be my leading lady? I wanna contract girl, no baby. In the meantime, in the meantime, I'll be doing what you Everybody beats like Odell oh. Over more, my killers don't tell 
myself so hard era and listening to my body because the sleep much needed although I did stay up way too late last night and y'all <laughs> I've started the ultimatum no one told me that the ultimatum was bad what's up what's up we're not cool did nobody want me to watch it I don't know I haven't turned my tv on in my room in so long but I turned it on last night so I was like let me watch a show and the ultimatum's on love is blind is back on like lord I just made my bed and I, well, I just woke up, made my bed and I wanted to come talk to you guys really fast because we're about to just go ahead and get, get the day started. I gotta go drop Carter off at school and then I don't really know why I'm doing this to my hair because I'm probably gonna redo it anyways, but just to get a little bit of the frizz out. I'm getting myself semi ready. I'm not getting all the way ready because I am gonna go run by Target so I can get oh, the book. Cool, put it on your dresser. What dresser? On your dresser in your room. We're reading Diary of a Wimpy Kid, and for some reason when I put the book down last night, I couldn't find it, so. Reading to your kids is really top tier. If you haven't picked up a book in a long time as an adult, your reading is rusty. So start with a kid's book, okay? Cause I've been reading it like, damn, I really cannot read. <laughs> but, long story short, I'm gonna run by Target so I get those markers, crayons, some glue sticks, stuff like that for the kids' little set up in the play area. Um, and then I'm coming back home. I gotta do like a little bit of work. I actually have to work today. I've been, I've been not working for the past couple days. But you know, that's a soft girl, soft life. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I really have just been taking it easy, but we're going to have lunch with Peyton. If y'all know who Peyton is, she lives in Dallas. She's also a content creator. We've had lunch before and then we kind of just never went to lunch again after that. I don't think for any particular reason, for me personally, life just be life in but i have been thinking about her a lot lately oh my gosh the skin is like ripped off right here anyways i have been thinking about her a lot lately so i have reached out to her and i was like uh hey do you want to go to lunch because we talked here and there just like through social media or whatever but i was like hey do you want to go to lunch and she was like sure so we're going to this place called kitchen and cocktails which i've been there a whole bunch of times but i th i haven't been there since they rebranded and i was supposed to go a couple weeks ago with aaron's mom and his brother and i didn't end up getting to go i don't remember why so i'm going there at 11 so hold on anyway so yeah we're gonna go to lunch with her at 11 so i really don't have a whole bunch of time to just be lolly getting around i gotta get home get my work done and then i'm probably gonna hop in the shower and like re-get ready again because I don't have time to shower this morning because I didn't wake up early. I don't know, like the pimple is gone down, but now my skin is healing off of that, which does not feel or look that great. And I'm supposed to get a laser treatment this Friday, which I think I actually have to reschedule because I don't remember what time it's for and I have to eat lunch with Carter. Well, I don't have to, but I like eating lunch with Carter on Fridays at school. So I've been trying to schedule one appointment before I go eat lunch with him, but he eats at 10 30 and I'm like, that's just cutting it too close. So I'm not going to do that. But y'all keep your fingers crossed, but my skin is glowing. I mean, besides this one thing. And then I don't know if it's because I've been taking my vitamins and drinking greens. So I drank my greens last night because I hadn't drank them in a couple days. And I was like, oh, I'm not about to jinx this. If the skin thing is going well because of all this. Oh, yeah, we're going to drink the greens every day. So I drank my greens last night. And I'm putting some rescue balm on here. Hopefully this will heal up. You know what I need to get? Rihanna has those new blemish patches you can get. It's too early in the morning to be arguing. Yeah, here we are. We have been doing a little bit better these last couple of days, but this little patch right here. I didn't even put sunscreen on. What am I doing? I really need to hurry up. I'm just like lollygagging like I have all the time in the world. La -de -da -de -da. Them patches, I think, is what took my skin off right there because it was already like sensitive. Yeah. The only thing I think that I need to add to my skincare routine is a chemical exfoliant. And there's only one that I know that I really like. But I've been like not buying it because it's like so expensive. Because it's from Skin Better. And it's their like scrub. It's like a chemical and mechanical exfoliating mask. And I really like it. But you also have to order it through an esthetician as well. So I do have somebody's link I can use. But... Let's just dab some of this on there. 
it hurts a little bit. Okay, that's all we're gonna do. I just wanna do my skincare so my face doesn't feel all grimy, but we're leaving. We have on yoga pants and this random graphic t-shirt. And that's about the best it's gonna get. Oh, breakfast, I gotta go my breakfast. Come on, the countdown has to be I'm currently trying to debate if we should go to Target or not because Target is so far from my house, y'all. I don't like, I'm gonna be pushing it, trying to get back. Maybe we save that for tomorrow or I could just do like a delivery order for Target. I think that's what I'm better off doing because I still want the kids to have their stuff, but I think I'm better off. Woo! need to lay it on my edges too because I look, you look nasty. As much as I want an excuse to go to Target, I just don't think it's the responsible choice. Granted, the 40 minute commute. If it was closer, then it wouldn't be a problem, but, and there's nothing really that close to my house. Walmart is still kind of out of the way. And all of that, I'm about to try to get in truck from the Excuse me, sir. I think we're just gonna go home. And I'm gonna do like a Target delivery order so I can get like their crayons, markers. And then I really wanted to go too because I wanted to get some stuff for myself for my period because I'm about to be on my period. And yeah, I wanted some period panties, some different snacks because the cravings be hidden late at night on your period. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna order it online. So I shall see you when I get home. Or getting ready for the day. Hey, my name is Jenny Allen, and I'm an author and the leader of If Gathering. And today we're looking at Romans 15 5, and it says, May the God who gives endurance and encouragement give you the same attitude of mind toward each other that Christ Jesus had. Now, if you go and look in the context of this chapter, you'll see later. All right, it's 9 45. We've got to leave here in 45 minutes. So. Let's pick an outfit. I don't really know. I feel like if my lashes were done, I had a cute outfit to wear, but since my lashes aren't done, it's giving bum. And I don't have any falsies or anything I can like put on, so I don't want to overdress for this. You know what I'm saying? Like this is not really looking that great. What to wear? What to wear is the question. Can we wear a sundress? I feel like that's casual enough. I really don't know. I was gonna wear... If my lashes were done, I was gonna wear this jumpsuit because I have not gotten the chance to wear it yet and I think it's super cute, but I just don't really feel that done up and then also I'm about to be on my period and my period usually starts in the morning, but watch my period randomly starts. I'm not going out sad like that, okay? So I think I really need to go shopping, but I'm gonna wait and go once the seasons get a little bit, or once the season changes a little bit more and it gets a little bit cooler here. So probably like October, I'll go fall shopping. I really just need some more jeans. And then I also need to shop for the kids. I don't know, y'all. I mean, it's giving, I'm gonna wear a skin set and call it a day, cause I genuinely don't know what to wear. <laughs> now I'm scared I'm gonna start my period for real so I feel like darker is better. I don't think these jeans, I don't think these jeans fit over my butt if I can remember correctly. I think it gives me like squish butt. I really gotta hurry up. I should have thought this through a little bit more. I mean, when in doubt, Kimberly's always gonna come through for me. I'm just gonna put on a skim set. Not gonna worry about it too much. I'm gonna try these jeans on, see if I can get them past my butt, and then I can wear probably just cute stuff with them. And some tennis shoes. Oh! <laughs> Not off to the best start. Yeah, they squish my butt in the most disgusting looking way. Like, it's not even that my butt is flat. It's like, it makes it look... <laughs> I need y'all to see this. It's like, it makes them... It looks square and like... Where is my butt? Where's my butt? That is so trifling. 
The jeans in themselves are super cute. Maybe I could wear like an oversized t-shirt that hides my ass because that's not the vibes. I don't even know. I'm trying to think if I have an oversized t-shirt. Oh, the zipper's stuck. Lovely. Just lovely. Can I wear this with a big t- these jeans with a big t-shirt? She got her skims on, now she acting like she cute. I really need to hurry up, cause I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna be late, but I'm gonna look a mess if I don't hurry up. Mm, 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 mm. I'm trying to think in my head like what big t-shirts I have that I can wear with these jeans. Cause I don't think I have one big enough to just like cover my whole butt. But I think I'm gonna wear the shirt that I wear all the time with these pants. It's like a, I pray you feel blessed. And a lot of people always ask me where I get it from, but I got it from this guy who I went to high school with and is Aaron's cousin's friend, and he doesn't make them anymore, or I would have, I would have told y'all, he don't make them no more, so. <sighs> okay, let me go grab the shirt and then see what it's hitting for. Because I'm giving, I want to give casual, because I feel like this is casual. The face card is, it's like, mm, mm. Okay. Y'all can't really see the whole thing, but I feel like it's giving a little boy, especially because I don't have my lashes in. And that's not, that's, that's not what I was trying to give. I was trying to give casual, but it's giving, it's giving, it's, it's not, it's not giving, it's not giving what I thought it was going to give. I need to get my lashes done immediately. I don't even know where I'm going to get my lashes done now because I canceled my subscription where I used to get my lashes done because I wanted to find individual tech who can really do my lashes to my specific eye shape and I wanted to try something new. And I had tried to tell the girl who was doing my lashes a couple times, I'm like, I kind of want this or this or this. She'd be like, yeah, okay. And then it was just always the same, which they didn't look bad, but it's just, I wanted to switch it up. So anyways, gotta find a new lash tech and still an outfit apparently. I think when in doubt, skim it out. I could wear this little dress. I just feel like no lashes. What a dress is a bold choice. It's bold. Okay, I have like five minutes to make a decision. So I'm gonna put the dress on, see how I feel about it, and then go from there. Okay, the dress is fine. Let me back up. I've worn this dress once before. I think I wore this in the DR. Either this one or the pink one. But anyways, the dress is fine. The problem is my toes are not done. My toes are not done. I don't know how I keep forgetting about this. I haven't done any maintenance in so long. Ever since I got my hair done, I haven't done anything. No lashes, no nails, no toes, nothing. So it's like dress, fine. It's giving no lashes, just came home from vacation. Anyways, and then the feet. The feet are busted, dusted, mustard, and disgusted. That's not gonna work for me. One thing I'm not gonna do is leave the house with open toe shoes, knowing my feet look trifling. Not, never, never, baby, never, never. No, nope. mm -mm. I'm just gonna finish getting ready and then I'm gonna put a Skims two piece hat on so that I can wear tennis shoes. Which I'm pretty sure this place has a dress code, so hopefully I can wear tennis shoes. Anyways, we're gonna see. Let's get ready. I was gonna take a shower, but I'm actually not because I need to leave in 30 minutes and I need to put press on nails on because I I can't I can't I can't do it. I can't leave the house with my nails looking like this. So anyways I'm putting some wood chasel on underneath my armpits. Just in case. Just in case. <sighs> and then deodorant. Oh Everybody has been giving me new deodorant suggestions, so whenever I get back hygiene shopping, which I do plan on going, but also not right now, because I just you grew up and doing a lot, so I'm like, chill out, chill out. I'm gonna look into some new deodorants. I really wanna try the new one by the fur brand. It's like the, if you don't know what fur is, they have stuff specifically for like intimate areas and they came out with the deodorant that's supposed to lighten your armpits and help with ingrowns. And because the ingredients in it help with ingrowns, I'm pretty sure they would help keep odor away. And I do think it's an aluminum free, so I'm really intrigued to try that. I think I'm gonna wear leggings. I was gonna say, so does that mean I don't have to put lotion on? I put a little bit on. I put a little bit on just cause we're so here. We are in desperate need of a self-care day. 
Okay, legs, hairy, haven't exfoliated. Oh my gosh, my toes are so dusty. And I wanna go get them done, but I don't think I'm gonna have time. I might, I might go tomorrow. I might have some time to go tomorrow. It just depends. But, ciao. The legs are crusty, musty, dusty. Definitely wearing leggings. Okay, glad we established that. I already did my skincare this morning, so I'm like, all right, let's just go ahead and put a little bit of stuff on my face. I'm gonna dab this in, make it disappear. My face doesn't look as red though. Shout out to this spray. Shout out to this spray. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do our quick no makeup makeup look that I've been attempting to do. And I really wouldn't put anything on my face except for the fact that I have this right here and I wanna cover that up. So I'm going in with the L'Oreal Glotion. I actually like love this stuff. I put way too much. Or maybe not. I don't know, it just makes me look so bronze. And like I have a tan from being out the country even though I ain't been nowhere. I just love the way it makes my skin look. Uh, especially in like the sunlight. I'm gonna do it over my eyelids so my eyelids don't look white. I really could get like a bronzing stick and bronze my forehead a little bit more and make myself look even more golden. Okay, concealer. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Can y'all see me? Is it focusing? I can't tell because my eyes are like acting today. Okay, I just wanna cover up this right here. So I'm gonna leave it. Let it sit for a second. I know it's gonna get caking. Caking? Caking? But it's okay. Eyebrows. I need to get my eyebrows retattooed so bad. I'm in desperate need of like a glow up situation. Lashes, brows, the works. Just give me the works. Give me the works. I actually picked a bad day for us to go to lunch low key because I asked Peyton when she wanted to go and she was like Tuesday or Wednesday. And yesterday I didn't go because it was Carson's birthday and I didn't know if we were gonna like do anything or not. So I was like, nah, let me just do Wednesday. But Carter has early release today. So I gotta pick him up at two. And y'all know I can talk a lot. So the last time we went to lunch, I think we were literally there for like three hours. But today we are on a time constraint. <laughs> Cause I gotta pick up him at two. I should really, how often do you, are you supposed to clean these? I was gonna say that blended out really nicely and then I looked closer in the mirror. Just kidding. I'm gonna have to do it a couple times. I really need to go get a green concealer cause I'm gonna use my Tarte one over top of that. That one's too light really. I feel like blending out with my finger too is a little bit easier. Or not easier but it looks better. And then if I get around, I think I blend out with the beauty blender. We're just gonna take it for what it is. I, these no lashes is really eating me up right now. Cause I'm like, should I put blush on? But if I put blush on, it's really the lashes. Like it's been so long. I have not not had my lashes done since like, I mean, I've had times where they've come off, but I've had an appointment like right after that. But I'm saying as far as like, just not having lashes on in general and going somewhere and seeing people, since like 2019. I've been getting my lashes done faithfully since 2019. I didn't want to put blush right on top of my pimple because I'm sure that would make it look worse. Do I look awake? What, what is it giving? I feel like the lighting in here for some reason is like awful today. I don't know why. Like the lights in here are usually really bright, but they look very dim. Okay, this is the best we're gonna get. Perfume, what should we wear today? Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna wear a lot today because this is like such a nice daytime fragrance. It smells so good. Okay, for lips, I always mix just some type of lip gloss with, and this is the e.l.f. one that's supposed to be like a dupe for the Laneige. It has like a little like pink tint and then I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced lip injection and I just do a little bit and I mix it with other lip gloss to dilute it so my lips don't turn like cherry red or burn, but it still gives me a little bit of plop. If you're picking up what I'm putting down. Cleaning up after myself because I am a tidy queen. Looking, double checking everything. Mm. The skin is skinning. Okay, baby, my skin is good, but I need to blow my nose. Oh, I also decided, I think I'm just gonna go to Target 
instead of placing the Target pickup order or getting it delivered, I'm just going to go to Target after I pick up Carter since he gets out from school a little bit earlier. I just run over there and then me and him came to slow together. A little, you know, Target date or whatever. I'm going to put some loose. I almost forgot to lay my baby hairs. I should have did that first. See, I'm looking like, oh, I'm doing great on time. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I need to lay my baby hairs and I need to put these press-ons on, which the press-ons are going to take the most time. I really don't even want to do them, honestly, but I don't want anybody to throw up while they're eating their food if they look over and see my fingernails. Put a little mousse so it can just be a little less frizzy. It's going to poof back up as soon as I walk outside, but... Whew. What if I just rocked the natural? The natural bang. Phew. I want to perm my edges so bad. And I know everybody's going to say, don't perm your edges. But like, could you imagine if you woke up every morning and your baby hairs were just like laid? That would be awesome. And it's like, it's just the baby hairs. Like, is it even that big of a deal? If you perm them, what's going to happen? Maybe your edges would fall out. <laughs> I doubt it. My lips are like very plump now. See? But they're not like overly red. I need to leave here in like 15 minutes. So, these are the press ones I'm going to put on for today. They're the French tip. Kiss. Can you? Hello. This has got to be the camera. Why are you playing me like that? I don't like that. Anyways, they're the medium length. I don't really like the medium length, but we're going to work with what we have I'm gonna try to do it fast i don't really have a lot of time to prep my nails today so i'm just gonna lightly buff them and then i'm gonna wash my hands since i just had all that stuff on my fingers okay i'll see you guys when i leave i'm just gonna throw on my skims some skims two piece some tennis shoes and then call it call it a day because these press ons probably going to take me about... I don't want to rush them because I know I'm going to... I mean, I want to keep them on. I want to get my nails done, but no nail tech will see me because my nails are damaged. So I'm like, girl, my nails are only going to grow if somebody puts nails on me that last to outgrow the damage. Did you ever think about that? When you decide to discriminate towards me, like, where are the nail techs that repair damaged nails? Because I want to come to you. I hate that no matter how many times I done press on nails and never fails that I don't remember the size of my nails and then these press ons I mean shit they getting as high as it would cost me to go get a little regular set of the nails on because I keep rebuying these hoes but anyways okay the clock is ticking okay I'm leaving this is what I'm wearing I know y'all really can't see the whole thing but these are the tennis shoes Skim pants, skim stop. The shoes are wear literally everywhere. I need to get a new pair. I'm thinking about getting some new balances, okay? And then I'm just gonna wear my crossbody bag. Mmm, you know what? I could wear. Oh! I could wear my diesel bag. It's cute, it's getting sporty, it's getting, it's getting it matches all the silver I got going. I put my jewelry on today, okay? Big period. Johnny Day? Yeah. Big one, not the little one, no, I'm kidding. But seriously, that was probably one of my biggest flexes in 2020. If you're from Texas, then you know, you know. But I need to get it cut down, because it just, it's not the right one. But anyways, I think I'm wearing my diesel bag, because I never wear, I always wear the same, my same bag, like my same everyday bag. Throw these tennis shoes on, and I'm leaving in perfect timing. By the time I get to the car, I'll be good. I sprayed myself with perfume, got my track runners on, I JP did. I even want my watch on. Like, look at me. Who she want to be? Call me freaky T. Off the leash. Okay, I'm I got to change my purses. It's over. I don't know. Should we wear the diesel bag? I'm going to look in the big mirror when I go downstairs. But okay, I'm going to change the battery out. Just for good measure. You know what I'm saying? Hey hood, Richie. Probably the neighborhood snitch. Mm -mm. We're here. 
I just text Peyton and I told her I'm really just gonna wait for her in the parking lot so that I don't gotta go in by myself if she's parking. I don't think you can ballet over here. Um, but the parking is really close anyway, so it's really no point. But I do need to get out and pay to park. Oh, uh, baby scammer too. If you do not pay to park in Dallas, one time me and Aaron went out to breakfast and we didn't see any signs to pay to park, but there was a guy in the parking lot, but he didn't come up to us and say, oh, you need to pay to park here. Why do we get a ticket in the mail for $85 for one hour? Yeah, pay to park. Don't skip out, okay? I'm about to get out and actually do that really quick. <sighs> Okay, $10 to park is absurd. Absurd! Because they make you pay for six to eight hours, but what if I'm not even going to be here for six to eight hours? Like, it's loading. Okay, here's my parking pass. Parkways. I need to buy me a parking lot. That's where the real money is. Let's buy a parking lot. There's actually a lot for sale and a great place to put a parking lot. No cap. I was driving by it on my way here, and I was like, I need to call them and see how much that is because, yeah, yeah, we ten dollars to park and it's over by trinity groves and if you know what trinity groves is in dallas they'd be popping okay people be parking all the way down 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 and be walking over there on the weekends sound like good money to me okay it's hot though i don't see her car i don't know if she punctual like me or not i can't remember i think she was late last time we went to lunch not like late late but y'all know like some people some people some of us are early on time which is me and then some people are like a little bit after the time I'm gonna go in if she doesn't get here by 11 so that we don't miss our reservations. Yeah, give me the AC immediately. It's like 102. Okay, I'll see y'all when we get inside, hopefully. I'll get some flicks. I know what I'm getting already, chicken and waffles. So I don't have to ask them. You don't have to ask. Okay, I know the air is gonna be loud because we just got in the car and it's like a thousand degrees but lunch was good the food was really good I ended up getting banana pudding waffles 1010 would recommend if you like banana pudding and a waffle like it was fire and then Peyton said she gets the cinnamon roll waffles and she said they were good I'll probably try those another time but I really like banana pudding so I got the banana pudding waffles and I also got chicken like chicken and waffles and then what else did I get oh I got the fried green tomatoes and they came with shrimp on it so I told Peyton she could have the shrimp because I don't eat seafood and I was really skeptical at first because I really don't like seafood and I never seen fried green tomatoes served like that but they were like with these cheesy spicy grits it was fire like it was really good y'all know I'm food critic okay call me Keith Lee baby but no it was <laughs> it was actually really good oh is this Jonathan's shop right here I've never passed by his shop um before if y'all know who Jonathan Wright is from well he's most recently on bad boys I think but he's a Dallas hairstylist and I see him right here on the glass I didn't I don't know if this is his shop or what I think it is but anyways I'm headed to go get in this ridiculous car line to pick up my baby from school and then we'll probably run over to Target get some crayons markers when Carter woke up this morning listen he was like mom when I get home I'm gonna practice my number fives so I can know how to write them I said okay period son look at you being extra academic scholar scholarly like okay because me I'd have been like homework who who gonna do that no but we also need to get a poster board and stuff for his all about me project lunch was good okay I'm about to turn the AC back up and blast it because it's so hot in here and then I'll talk to y'all probably when we get to target not my battery for die wipe off what Oh, the dry erase marker. We had a different target, so I don't know where we're going. And then I asked Carter, do you want to get Starbucks? He said, oh. I just ran over. Are you okay? I'm sorry. Anyways, he said Starbucks after. I said, that's not how it works. Water glue. I think we're going to get, like, some Elmer's glue like this. Why is this? Because it's easy to use on paper. The whole day. Can we get some? Mommy, I don't they wear picture. A color. But we need some paint. Can I push it over? These and stuff. I think we got everything on our list. I'm gonna let him pick a toy and then we're gonna go. Mommy? I think we're gonna go to the Apple store too though. So that we can get it. Can we get some lights for
I hope my kids do that one day. Come on, we're getting a toy and then we gotta get up. We're back home and I am feeling like I didn't take a nap today. Today, today, I'm tired. I'm tired and we got one cranky kid over there and one happy kid over there. You can never win. He didn't get an Optimus Prime from the store, so now he's so whiny. For Carmelo, I got some mechanical pencils. I need some more hot glue for my little mini hot glue gun, and I figured we would probably need it for Carter's project. And then look, they have aesthetic Uno, or Uno Black, I don't know. I'm gonna teach the kids how to play it anyway. And then I got some letter gold stickers for his poster so we can do the all about me part. Got some glue sticks, crayons. Here, you want a color? Then we got some other coloring books, but I think Carter, oh, here they are. Carter already took them out. He wanted Frozen, and I was like, I'm not about to argue with you, so, okay. And then Paw Patrol for Carson. Can you not eat that? Ow, you stink. I smell your poop. Oh, and then I also got Mochi as my period snack. I don't really want hot chips. Hot chips used to be like my go-to thing. But I got like mochi, if you don't know what that is. It's ice cream balls inside of this like doughy, I don't know how to explain it. If you don't like weird textures and you wouldn't like it, but I like it, I think it's good. It's like squishy ice cream. Everything does not belong in your mouth. Could you release the grip you have on my head? Please. Thank you. Day, day. Mm. <coughs> His diapers literally stink so bad. I don't know. It, actually, it almost smells like gas. That's really weird. Now I feel like I need to investigate this. Is it your butt? I can't tell if it's the trash. Because I smelled it when I first walked in the door. Let me make sure. Hold on. Update in a bit. It's giving brown eyes. Brown eyes in the sun. I'm about to wash my face and get ready for bed. I took a bath earlier. Cause y'all know I've just been feeling like I need my bath. I haven't been having my bath in a while. But anyways, we ended up having a factor meal for dinner and I don't feel any shame in my game. I think I just unlocked or cracked the code for meal prepping. Um, it's better than takeout. It's healthy. The kids like it. And we got those like this queso fondue thing. And I just put it in tortillas because the kids love tortillas and then it came with a side of like cauliflower broccoli ri rice something i don't know but anyways yeah okay tired moms unite but we're about to do my skincare really fast and i need to do my face mask that was a horrible ponytail but honestly who cares let's go through the steps i need to take my vitamins i'm still just taking these two right now, which is the probiotics from Ritual and then the Chlorofresh. I got a little zit right here. I've been doing all that good talking about my skin. And today I put something on my face and boom, and boom. Okay, let me fix this so it doesn't fall down. I'm ready for some new braids. I've already been saying that. Let me just stop because I'm like new hair, new brows, new lashes, new identity. Ugh. Okay. Cleanse. I look he already washed my face with this earlier because I just wanted to wash my face and then I got home because I just felt like I don't like sitting around the house with like stuff on my face and I had on that, I don't know, the little L'Oreal stuff. So I'm just gonna go in with the exfoliator from Skin Suticles. And it's just a once daily chemical exfoliate and it's got tiniest little exfoliating beads in it. I wouldn't say it's super gentle. It's medium abrasiveness and then I feel like you can dilute it down too if you want but I personally think my skin like needs the mechanical exfoliation every day. Some people it's too much but when you're using like vitamin C products and stuff your skin cell turnover is speeding up and so I'll get like dry flakes or patches where my skin is like healing and like the old dead skin is coming off so like this oh, all right and then i think i'm gonna start going back to my clean skin club towelettes because i was using like wash rags but i think it would just be better if i go back to using something like completely separate from my face first sent me over their instant resurfacing mask and i had been wanting to try it and i used it a couple days ago and i noticed that the texture of my skin actually was getting better and i haven't used it this week and i noticed like a little bit of the texture coming back 
Um, so I'm just kind of using it as like my a part of like skin cycling if you will like you're supposed to like exfoliate like use a chemical exfoliant I think like two or three times a week so I'm using this for now and I'm just gonna put this on and then see if I notice a difference in the morning like I said I used it a couple times last week and that could be very well what helped improve like the texture of my skin so you're only supposed to leave it on for like two to three minutes and you're supposed to use once a week I think I used it like two or three times last week <laughs> so I might have overdid it but we'll see also I'm looking for a new retinol if anybody has um, recommendations because I was using tretinoin and granted i could probably go back to a lower dose of tretinoin because like they like your dermatologist will like gradually take you up but it's just getting like too drying for my skin and it wasn't really doing what i needed it to do anymore as far as like keeping my skin clear so um but i do want retinol because i like the concept of retinol and help it helps with like anti-aging and like fine lines and like dark spots and discoloration and hormonal acne but i think i'm just gonna get like a more generic retinol I don't know maybe that's just my thoughts or do y'all think i should just go down on a lower dose of tretinoin please give me your unsolicited non-dermatology <laughs> advice because i feel like that's all we are at the end of the day like all of us on the internet we have just created like these platforms where we give our unsolicited no medical background no degree well i mean not everybody obviously there are doctors and dermatologists that are content creators but you get what i'm saying like we just be going out vibes you know what I'm saying? I have this poppy from earlier. I didn't finish. I took my bloom today. What about y'all? Did y'all take y'all's bloom? I swear I'm being so for real about taking greens every single day for the rest of this year because I really just want to see like what difference it makes like in my skin, in my like stomach, and just all of that. So I took my greens today. I just took them actually a few minutes ago when I went downstairs to do my little quick clean for the night. Anyways, I'm starting to really feel the period coming on because my head is starting to hurt. I don't know what it is about getting older, but I feel like the older you get, the worse your period symptoms get. Like, I could never relate to the girls that I was friends with back in high school and stuff when they would, like, have awful periods. Like, when I was young, I didn't have that problem. I had light periods, minimal cramping. You know, I might be a little crampy here and there, but for the most part, it wasn't that bad. After I had mellow, my periods are on another level, like headaches, migraines, extreme fatigue, cramps be cramping, okay? I don't know, I'm like, it's ghetto out here. You always think you want to get older until you get older, and it's like, it's really not that exciting. <laughs> no, it is. Um, okay, let me read this. Okay, I'm starting to finally get used to seeing myself without lashes. Like when I first got them off, I was like, who is that creature? Send help. And now I'm like, okay, slay natural face. Like it's coming, it's coming back. I mean, I still prefer lashes. You get what I'm saying? But I feel like it's an adjustment period when you don't have them on. Who is that girl? Okay, now I'm just gonna go in with the Skin Suitable Photo Corrective Essentials Mist. It says don't inhale. Keeping it real simple. I've just been going in with that because that's like hydrating and like helps repair your skin barrier and redness, etc. This little pimple still, I think I like really irritated it beyond belief because it did not pop ever and it's still red and it will not go away, but that's okay. And then I've been going in with this as my moisturizer because my skin barrier has just been like really damaged from all the retinol I was using low key. I think it just like really dried my skin out this last time I upped my dose. And I just pat it into my face kind of. I'm giving y'all a skincare routine. Like I don't change my skincare routine every single week. Trifling. But anyways, it's been working for this past week. My skin's been doing okay. I'm just gonna use my high frequency one to kind of just spot treat. Well, oh, I'm gonna do my whole face, but I'm gonna focus on this right here supposed to keep like skin contact with these so when you come off your face you're supposed to put your finger on it put it back down take your finger up 
and my esthetician was like, just go slow. And you can use it for up to five minutes a day, I think. I need to start gua shaing, or I will be at the SD Bestie getting Botox. I still low key want to get chin lipo. <laughs> And the only kind of Botox I really want is forehead Botox because the lines in my forehead, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna try to shock this pimple that just came up right here too. That's it for my skincare. Sometimes I'll put Aquaphor on my face, but since I'm having a couple breakouts, I'm not gonna slug my face too much and like cake anything on. I'm just gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna put some of the Rescue Balm on from Hero Cosmetics, where the skin is healing right here. And that's it. I'm about to get in my bed and watch The Ultimatum. So we can talk about it, because I watched the first episode last night and already off rip. I'm like, okay, homegirl, I don't know if she wanna be a reality TV. Um, girl or not, but I'm really interested to see how the season goes. Please do not spoil it for me. Please do not spoil it for me because I just started it and I, I don't have time to binge watch it, okay? Or I would and I would already be done. And then Love is Blind is also out. Oh, baby, it's a wrap. It's really like I love this time of year. Like we're getting to the colder months. All my shows are out. Summertime, summertime's cool, but I'm ready for it to go. <laughs> Good morning. We're getting ready to leave. I don't Oh, I was gonna slick my eyebrows up, you know, look a little bit together. But we're about to leave and go to the nail shop because I'm gonna show y'all my toes. Yeah, dusted, mustard, dusted, disgusted, disgusted. New word, new word unlocked. Um, no, they're just really gross, and I need to get them done. And I'm not gonna have time tomorrow, which is when I normally do my maintenance because I'm going to be eating lunch with Carter, and then I have an appointment already at 11:30. Um, at laser away to do my clear and brilliant treatment. I'm trying to finish those up because I really should have been finished but I always procrastinate because it like makes your face red and bumpy for like, the first couple of days and the activities I've been having lined up just did not match up with the vibes. So we're going to get that done tomorrow after I eat lunch with Carter. So I figured today since I have a little bit of I don't know if I can tell. I've really just been in like vacation mode, really. I don't know. I don't know. But we've been chilling. So I already woke up, did my skincare. We took the kids to school, did my Bible time. I cleaned the kitchen up. So I need to get gas. And then we're just going to head to the nail shop. We're going to a new nail shop. Actually, I saw that Peyton, who I ate lunch with yesterday, she recommended in one of her vlogs. It's called Onyx Nail Bar in Dallas. So I'm gonna go there because y'all know I don't have like a nail home right now, but I need to get my toes done. And I'm about to cut these down. I used to be a long nail queen and now I can't function. It's giving a uh, bad bitch card revoked. I cannot do the long nails anymore, especially with Mellow. I just have this nail clipper thing that I got off Amazon. I really want to get more into like doing my own nails at home, but like making them more cute like gel eggs. But honestly, I just really want to get my nails done. Like, <laughs> but that's okay. Glow up coming soon. Glow up on the way. I know they're gonna be like nails. Nails. Gonna be like, can you work on damage? The nail salons will do it. I know they will work on my nails. They'll just talk shit. They'll be like, just start talking shit about my nails. Once they see what they look like under the press-ons. But baby, I don't care. It is what it, that's why I'm coming to you. To fix it. Duh. I really just want some cute, like I want to get my nails done because I want my nails to match my toes. And I want to get these like, cute chrome French tip toes. I've just been really into different nail designs that I've been seeing on Instagram lately. And I'm like, I can't even get my nails done. And a lot of these texts out here that are in the salons are. So all the girls who can really do nails, I think I already told y'all, they're like, we don't work on damage. I'm like, just kidding. Okay, LOTD, nail shop outfit, brother's t-shirt, Nike shorts. I actually really like these. At first when I bought them, I was like, 
I got them from Spring Eugene, which is like an Instagram store. And I was like, okay, $60 for one pair of shorts. But I feel like I've gotten the use out of them. Like I wear them. Y'all can't see them. I don't know. I keep backing up. I wear them a lot and they're really comfortable. And I feel like they're perfect for me because I like to wear sweatpants, but it's summertime. So I got these shorts, you know what I'm saying? I might try to find some more. Because it's going to be fall here soon, but it's not going to really be cold. Well, actually, y'all, it's sweater weather next week. I just need y'all to look at this. If you, well, if you don't live in Texas, you don't know, but baby, I literally am like, the weather? Okay, first of all, it's 107 degrees today. 107. Oh, it went down. 106. 106. 97. 95. 92. 81. 70. I'm like that i gotta bring down the winter clothes for 78 degrees are you shitting me i'm so excited but it's also supposed to like rain those couple days and then it goes back to being a little bit warmer let's go i gotta find i need to find my crocs i just want y'all to know like this is how much i don't be caring one day when i'm older i think i'll care about my appearance out of the house but i can only find one of each croc so That's good enough for me. I mean, at least I have shoes on. Like, at least I put, I wear, I wore one shoe this morning to take Carter to school. So at least I have two shoes on. That's all that matters, right? Let's go, cause I need to get gas and I wanna get there right when they open so I can get first dips on who Peyton recommended. I literally, I text myself all day. Does anybody else do that? Or is it just me? Like I send myself TikToks, I send myself notes, I send myself literally everything. So when I was watching Peyton's vlog, I texted myself and I was like, she said I think her name was Lily. Lily. So I'm gonna ask her Lily when I go in there. Hopefully she's working today. Peyton said she was good and I need a good, I need a good pedicure. Okay. We're getting gas. <laughs> That's it. I don't have anything else to say besides pumping gas. It's not looking so good so far. recommendation I was gonna say is my face red yeah so the only things I will say hold on is the lens dirty okay the air might be a little bit loud but overall I like the nail shop it was cool the lady who did my toes she ate down like her painting the way they do French tip there is so much better than like everywhere else because they actually do the pink polish without you asking and then they do like the deep French tip which I really like so shout out to the girl i didn't ask her what her name was i didn't end up getting uh the person that peyton recommended but she was cool she was a little heavy-handed she was really in there you know massaging and then like they do like a shoulder and neck massage and then she massaged my face and i was literally trying not to laugh so hard because she was like rubbing my temples and then like doing this but it was just like my eyes were like like you know like pulling apart <laughs> But it did make me want to go get a massage. I'm thinking about getting a membership somewhere to like get massages monthly or something because I just feel like my body needs it. I also need to start going to the chiropractor and stuff. The last time I went to the chiropractor was when I was pregnant with Mello. So I need to find a new chiropractor because I know it's going to sound crazy. Can y'all even see me? The lighting is so in and out. But I used to do cheerleading for a really long time when I was younger and it really messed up my hips which affects my back and like my alignment is always off so I really need to be going to the chiropractor like consistently but I don't um, and then I feel like also just being pregnant three times pretty much not all back to back to back but is this run road or two can you get in your lane sweetie thank you this just literally driving in two lanes why like this is this is just so dumb sorry can you tell i'm getting upset i'm like girl just stay in your lane oakland is so pretty like it's the vibes over here it's so cute like the little just apartments 
Okay, anyways, I'm headed home. I was gonna go to the mall because I'm such in this self-care mood. I just want to go buy a ton of self-care products and shower my life away at the current moment. And I want to go to Crate and Barrel and get some fall mugs and stuff. But... I also want to take a nap today, so I'm about to go home because I stayed up way too late last night too, and I know the boys are about to be down for their nap, so I'm like, yeah, I'm about to go take a nap, and then we'll try again probably, I was going to say tomorrow, but I'm going to get that clear and brilliant, and I'm not going to be walking around with my face red, so probably like Monday. I was thinking about just placing an online order, but I think I actually want to go to the mall and like smell the fragrances and the scents because i want to get some candles some new bath products and just try out some like i haven't been to like, sephora or ulta and really just like hygiene shopped or like got any products that were like you know the products that the girls are trying these days in a hot minute so i'm like i want to go i want to go see what's new i want to re-up i want to try some new brands that i haven't tried speaking of that i think i'm right here by sephora actually but i just want to go to north park so that way i can go everywhere i want to go to like diptyque i want to go to joe malone i want to go to sephora i want to go to lush really bad so we'll probably go on a little girls trippy trip and go hygiene shopping next week stay tuned for that i'm excited for that now the problem is i don't know which direction to go and my phone is dead so i thought i had it but apparently I don't. I'm like, which which side is downtown? This way? I'm gonna go this way and hope for the best. Oh, I should go to Val's. I'm over here by Val's. I want to do so much, but I just don't have any energy. And I just, I'm really learning how to not push myself. Yesterday, I, no. Coffee dates? Yes. Like, I can do coffee dates early in the morning if I want to hang out with my friends. And that's about like my uh, only availability at the current moment. But since I've gotten to this like whole napping era, yeah, slay queen. We need a nap every day. And it just makes me feel so much better about the evening routine and being more present with like the kids and stuff. Even though I've just been slacking a lot this week in general, but you know, mm, we're gonna blame it on the period that did not come this morning. I was like, girl, where the f you at? I think I know where I'm going. Yeah, 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 we did that. We did that now we on the way home i think okay for me i'll talk to y'all later i found my way so no worries we didn't get lost but i have a question i want to try pho i've never had pho or pho i don't know which is the correct pronunciation but i need somebody to tell me how i should order my pho because i was gonna order some last night on uber eats but then i ended up not because i was like if i order it and i don't like it it's gonna be best so I'm like, yeah, I need, I need, I need to know how to order it, please. And thank you. Say what's up. Mom, I want to see it. I want to see it. I want to see it. Can I see it? Bubble dolly. I was gonna try. Hold on, Jojo. Let me get him a snack. Hold on. Anyways, I was gonna try and prep dinner really fast because we just prepped the stuff to cook because I, I need to cook today. I'm gonna waste my Hello Fresh meal. I need to quit playing around, man. Don't look at my fridge either because I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear Mmm. Let's have a poppy. How sad spot is that? I'm back on my poppy kick. I was off, but now I'm back. I think I have officially decided strawberry lemon is my favorite. And I heard they came out with the Coca-Cola one, and I need to get my hands on it immediately. Because the Coke one from Olipop, mm -mm, it's a myth. Poppy is better than Olipop. I'm just saying. 
And the kids like these too. So it's definitely a good soda alternative. Like it's like sparkling, but it's only got four grams of sugar. Somebody tell me if that's bad or good. Cause here I go, I'll be like, these are so good. And somebody's gonna be like, they're not even good for you. Who's the baby mama? I was gonna say, because I could never be somebody's baby mama. I'm not a baby mama. Then you know the baby mama. Then he's a baby daddy. Nobody is baby daddies. Yes, they are. I gotta stop calling him baby daddy. I am not a baby mama. You, baby mama. I'll rebuke that in the name of you. You're baby daddy. Carson thinks he's so funny, like name calling lately. Like he likes to say, boy, boy girl, your boy girl. Boy girl. <laughs> Sit on your butt. Girl boy. <laughs> yep. I need a scoopies. <coughs> Tass Grabbit must knew I needed to get on the app and book something. I, just uh, like the mm -hmm. I gotta have somebody come get the trash because I forgot trash day on Monday. I was like, it's Memorial Day. So I was like, we don't need to take out the trash. The trash is not going to come on Memorial Day because it's from the city and everything in the city is closed because it's Labor Day. Hey, sit down on your butt, please. This trash stinks so bad, though. My biggest regret is not getting a diaper pail this time around. We had one before we moved and then we didn't keep it, but I need to get another one because these dirty diapers, they just cannot just be in every trash. They just think. He really need to get potty trained. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but seriously. Believe it or not, Carson was actually potty trained at like two and a half. And then he did really good up until he turned three. Then he had like a little bit of a regression. So he went back into pull-ups. Because we don't do the... I'm not in a fight with people about diapers and going to the bathroom. Like I feel like that was a big thing my parents used to always just like... I had accidents as a kid. And it was consistent. But instead of letting me wear pull-ups, they just let me pee in the bed and then got mad because I peed in the bed, but I'm like, girl, if I'm consistently having accidents on my side, and then like, you know, it's also embarrassing as a kid because I peed in the bed, like, let me just tell you this, I peed in the bed mm, for a while, but so did every person in my house besides like my older sister, but like me and all my brothers, yeah, that's on our parents, I think. But we all peed in the bed. Not enough was because we were too scared to like get up in the middle of the night and go. But I used to set alarms in the middle of the night to like wake up to go to the bathroom, and it was just something that I had just had to grow out of. And as I got older, I realized like a lot of other people were like that too. So, anyways, needless to say, if they need to wear pull-ups at night so they don't pee on themselves, they wear pull-ups. But that was off topic. <laughs> but I think we'll start potty training Judah around the time he starts talking. Carter, we waited way longer. It was like he was like like mid. Three, like three and a half, but Carson we did earlier. I think a good time to start is when they can start talking because then they can let you know, I need to use the restroom. I feel like potty training anytime before they can talk is pointless. Because if I can't say, I need to use the restroom, I'm gonna. Let's see what we got on the menu for, hello. Hello. We can either do fully loaded pork Taquitos, but I sub the pork for beef or chicken, which takes 30 Mommy, minutes. I have my sandwich. Take the Good job. Onion crunch chicken. Crunchy chicken. That's giving like crunch Sunday chicken. night dinner. There you go. I want to start doing crock pot meals. Here you go. Since I got a crock I pot meal. Or we can do saucy oh, pork burrito bowls oh, these are actually oh, it's not pork but i got a beef how yeah. voice they said it would be fun they say you i just want everyone to think very hard because i feel like naturally boys are like the gender that i always hear people say that they want like i could be wrong but just from what i my perspective of life everybody always says they're girls so. Okay, let's see what the prep is for these. I think I'm gonna do the spicy bowls or the taco bowls because I don't feel like frying tortillas today. Um, so cook the rice while the rice cuts, wash and cut the produce. It's actually really not gonna take that long. I'll probably just do it all when we get back. The boys have football practice today, so. Boy, you need to set the example and sit on your butt. You don't need to be standing. Okay, we'll put it away and put your bowl in the sink. 
I moved him out of his high chair and put him up at a seat at the table because I thought that would help him to stop crawling on the table because he would go from the high chair to the table. Granted, I could have buckled him in, but he just gets mad, so I'm like, mm, don't worry about it. So I just put him in a big boy chair. Okay. I'm gonna cut up the produce before we go. to reenact for you guys what I just did. I'm gonna take this off because no one's gonna take me seriously with an unbonnet on. Okay, anyways, I'm already ready for bed. Listen up, listen up. Let me, we'll, we'll just go in the closet for this because, hold on, hold on. I need to put y'all up a little bit higher somewhere. Okay, don't go anywhere, don't go anywhere. You need to hear this, it's very important. Listen up, whoever this girl is, oh, she eats. If I wasn't in my self-care era before, oh, sh I definitely am now. Okay, I'm gonna put, oh, I don't have pockets. I'm sitting in my bed. I'm minding my business. Okay? I'm on TikTok. I'm scrolling. This girl, I've seen her before. I'm gonna show y'all who she is. Saying, you know, I'm not, this was her. This was her. Cat Villa. Y'all see? Her name's Katie. Skin girl. Oh, she is a mom too. Big fucking period. Okay. Shout out to the girls. Anyways, I think she works at Sephora because I've seen some of her videos before. I'm gonna follow her now. She was like, These are perfume combos that you didn't know you needed in your life. I'm gonna put you on. Combos that you didn't know you needed. Baby. Alright, so buy the five free replica and stick to do by soldiers in there okay the first one she said i literally ran up because i have all these minis that i got last year during christmas time as like little sample sizes from sephora i was like i have these so i'm about to go see so she was like buy the fireplace from replica which i never really wear but i do like the way it smells it has like a very smoky smell but it's a seasonal smell like it's for fall or winter anyways and then she said she mixed it with the 62 i believe but i have 71 and i feel like they're similar correct me if i'm wrong i don't know this still eats i'm not gonna spray them again because i already did but Please go smell these or try these or get the little samples if you want to try it out. I don't know. Anyways, they she was like, mix these together. They smell so good. I personally don't really like this by itself. It's just too sweet and caramelly for me. But it goes really well with this. I already sprayed it all over myself. This has like a very smoky, like by the fireplace, like, smoky scent. It's hard to describe because that probably doesn't smell like the best for like a perfume, but it smells so good. And then you mix it with this. And it sweetens it up just a little bit. Oh, she ate that one. Okay, so then I keep watching, right? Because I'm like, okay, she had one good one. 
I have the majority of the perfumes in here in little sample size that she was talking about. So first of all, then she was like, mix coffee break with, okay, I don't have those. Look, look oh, actually, I think I do have those. I might have look. Better, the Spark Range Co. Red Bar. Okay. Scanning got Clean Reserve. Okay, hold on. You feel me? And now you got Clean Reserve. You got Clean Reserve. Scanning got Clean Reserve Sparkling Sugar. Okay, I know I have Clean Reserve Skin, but I don't know if I have the Sparkling Sugar one. Because I got... I'm, I got all these little sample sizes, and now look at them coming in handy. Oh, that's random. I don't think I have the Sparkling Sugar one. Mmm, so sad. But I know I have the Skin one. Now, this is Skin. I never really smelled this one before, but let's see. I didn't. I didn't smell it yet. I'm like, I don't know where to spray it because. <laughs> Here's a napkin. Why is there a napkin in my closet? Don't ask. I don't really know what that smells like, but it smells good. It just smells like fresh. Okay. Anyways, moving back to the combos. Let me see what she said. This next one, my coworker Tay put me onto, but okay. I absolutely love Clean Reserves one kind. But she mixes it with the least Sunday morning by Rob. Lazy Sunday morning and coffee break. Oh no, clean. Wait, oh, hold on. Y'all know. Girl, it's one. just cute. This next one, my coworker Tay put me onto, but I absolutely love Clean Reserves one kind. But she mixes it with the Lazy Sunday morning by Replica. Okay, Lazy Sunday morning by Replica, and then this warm cotton. If you want, okay. If you don't really like fragrances, cause you like, you know, but you want to smell like clean ass laundry. Oh. Yeah, she did her big one on that one. I sprayed it on my shirt already. It literally just smells like, like fresh out the dryer sheets. Like this would be like a good nighttime going to bed. You just want to smell clean or a gym fragrance. Like if you just want to smell like clean, but like not like you have a fragrance on, like you literally just did your laundry. Yeah, she ate down with that one too. Thank you. Thank you. And then I think there was one more. That's good. This smells so good. That's Okay, the other ones she didn't have, but then it made me go look in my stuff, and I was like, okay, it's fall, period, so we need to change up the fragrances, and I was crazy because I was just telling y'all, I think today, I'm like, oh, I'm getting back to my self-care era, we're gonna go, we're gonna go shopping, now I'm like even more excited, but I'm gonna make like a cool little boom, 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 everything I wanna get. Autumn Vibes by Replica is gonna be my fall scent, it's it smells so good to me. I feel like it's a very like unique scent though. So like maybe go smell it at Sephora like before you buy it, but it's giving fall, it's giving autumn, it's giving it's giving all the vibes. Like it smells so good to me. Anyways, I was not planning on talking to y'all for the rest of the evening, but I was sitting my little behind on TikTok. Now I'm moving all of these over to the front of my um in my bathroom. I'm like, I gotta start getting more into fragrances. I usually just wear like the same five fragrances all the time. Because I really just have not really been into, I don't say taking care of myself, but I really just not have been in my, my like self-care bag, my bad bitch smelling good, feeling good bag for the last like, I don't say low key year. Like after Mellow turned six months, transitioning to three kids, I just scramble brain. But I'm coming back, baby. Don't worry about it. Don't you worry about it. Yeah, she did her big one on that. Thank you, Katie. We appreciate you as a representative of the girls. Much love. Keep it coming. Good morning. Happy Friday. Make some water. I don't feel like I've drank enough water in the past couple days. And then also, I didn't take my balloon last night, so I'm about to take it right now. Let's go ready i just do a little bit because i i'm not good with drinks like i won't finish a drink especially in one sitting but i am gonna get the berry flavor of this because mango is really just not my vibe but i feel like the berry is probably good because this is not bad like i feel like it tastes like what mangoes taste like but i just don't like mangoes you feel me for some reason today it was worse. I didn't mix it very well. I saw this thing. You know, I was on a little TikTok rabbit hole last night, and the girls were on fire. Okay, because we did a little perfume combo or whatever, and then I was, you know, still on TikTok. And this girl was like, she saw a girl who did this thing, 
and she called it her morning menu and so basically she made a list of like all of the things that you would essentially want to do in your morning routine because let's be honest we all expectations here life humbles us here okay so she was like just to make it more realistic which i feel like really fits with like where i'm at right now you know i've been trying to like transition over into like not so much chaotic and like beating myself up for not sticking to like an exact schedule and like getting all these things done so basically the morning menu is you list out all the things that you would do in your perfect morning routine and then obviously you have your non-negotiables that you would have so like every day my non-negotiables i wake up i want to spend time with god and drink water those are like pretty non-negotiable for me and then like get dressed wash my face etc so these are more like an everything shower going shopping working out um and that could be like yoga pilates weightlifting cardio whatever let me look at mine so i can show you guys really fast what all i have on mine okay so read a book journal take a slow walk clean make a good breakfast and then i did mine like on theme for fall and it says like so i put do a simmer pot on there because that's something i like to do in like fall and winter time in the mornings when i wake up to just make the house smell really cozy and nice so every morning when i wake up i can pick a few things off of there and then like rotate them out so you're still having like a productive morning sometimes it's unrealistic unless your whole morning is like blocked off and you could just do everything to do all of those things in one day if that makes sense so i thought the concept of that was real cool so i made me a list and that's what i'll be doing from now on i'll be picking off my morning menu and it's also a smart idea because if you guys have kids like you, if you get on etsy they have like morning menu for kids and stuff like that so it's just like for adults you feel me today i was supposed to go get my clear and brilliant treatment I don't feel like it i don't feel like it and i know i need to stop putting it off and procrastinating it but i genuinely like i just don't want to go it hurts my face is all going to be hot and red for the rest of the day i'm like i'm just i i don't want to go so i'm going to reschedule and instead i'm going to spend the morning like getting myself ready and we're going to do an everything shower today because i was looking at my armpits last night and i was like she needs to shave um and then obviously i'm gonna like spend time with god i'm thinking about getting myself a book and reading because i've been reading a lot in my bible but i've been reading my like books with the kids at night and i think I, i'm like into diary of a wimpy kid like every night i get excited i'm ready to like read them the book before they go to sleep and i'm like maybe i should like find a book for myself but anyways that's relevant for right now but i already did a little bit of cleaning this morning like i took out all the trash and stuff and then i think i'm gonna do an everything shower today and then we're gonna go run errands and get a drink from starbucks so those are gonna be like my three things for this morning so that's what i'm about to do right now is hop in the shower my everything shower is mm, i'm like i have this little here we go one popped up but it's okay that, that's really why i should go do the clear and brilliant because i know it would go away but i don't feel like it so Anyways, my everything shower is going to be, hmm, I'm trying to think, I'll just spring it on here with me. Want to shower together? That sounded like, anyways. I'm going to just use what I have today because that's why we're going shopping. Did I tell you that? Oh, we're going shopping today. I've been wanting to go hygiene shopping, so we're about to go to the mall after we eat lunch with Carter and shop till we drop. I'm like, New body washes, new body care, new fragrances, new candles. I want to go to Lush, like all of the things. So that's what we're going to do today because I'd rather do that than go get my face burnt to a crisp. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. And I heard when you're on your period, your skin and everything is just like extra sensitive and I just don't want it. So anyways, everything shower. This is what I'm going to use first. It's my Bioderm. It's an oil cleanser. It's like my first step. If you double cleanse but you use like a bar soap first, this is my replacement for a bar soap. It's oil cleanser. It just keeps my skin from getting stripped. And then if you ever heard of like oil cleansing your face to like get off the dirt and the grime, that's basically what this does. But it's still super gentle. So, Bioderm, we love her. This is empty, so. Love that thing. Um, the only other body washes I have right now is my, I use a loud car, I don't know. All I have right now is my Mario Badescu coconut body soap, which I'm not mad at. Still love her. I'm going to use this and I'm going to use the scrub. And then, oh, exfoliating gloves. 
I'm gonna use while I do this cleanse. And then I use a loofah when I go back in with my like scented body wash because it's, excuse me, just a little bit more gentle. And I'm gonna shave. So my Hydra Slick razor, this one I always go back to. I've tried a lot of razors. I like some other razors, but this is the one that I just have been using since I was like in high school. And then I'm gonna use the EOS Shave Moisture Cream. And then I'll also probably use this as well on my legs because this just helps me get like a quicker shave because it's more slick, it's a shower oil. But I'm gonna use this for a little bit more protection between my skin and the blade underneath my armpits ever since I got those ingrowns. And then we'll follow up with some post shower stuff whenever the girl gets out. to do my makeup with me following this TikTok trend. It's basically like a slide and it shows you how to do your makeup. So the first step is like primer and then she just adds the steps and then shows you how to do your eyebrows. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it step by step. I already did my skincare. So the first thing that they said to use was primer. So I'm gonna use the milk. Hydro Grip Primer. I never really do primer in. I mean, I have before, but primer is on. I'm gonna put a little bit more where I got this pimple right here. Okay. Are you supposed to let it dry down first? Okay, do your eyebrows. We're gonna actually do what they said. Okay. She was like, okay, so they give you like a guide for your eyebrows and it's like draw a line. Okay, I need to relax, 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 relax. I'm gonna have to look in this mirror right here. So hold on y'all. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can I draw a line is the question. And then are you supposed to slick your eyebrows up first or after you do this stuff? Okay, and then it was like, go this way, like diagonal into your brows. And then that's your guide for like filling in. This is not gonna look that great on me, but that's okay. Okay, and then you're supposed to like lightly shade the rest of your brows. Oh my goodness, what did I do? I just blend it out with a finger. My problem is I'm blind and I'm pretty sure. Okay, we're, we're gonna skip that step because I, I already know myself and I just, that's gotta be on a day where we're not going anywhere. Just practice, we is actually back this morning. So anyways, we're just gonna slick up our brows. And that's why I always have my eyes, eyebrows microbladed because I never knew how to do them. And I have no eyebrow hair. If y'all seen me before I got my eyebrows done, you know. Boom. Let's see what the next step is. They said do blush first. They said use a cream blush, but this is all I have. I'm gonna spray with some of this antibacterial spray because I have not been cleaning my brushes. And then instead of putting it directly on my skin, today I'm gonna try and put it on here. That might have been too much. And then see, okay, so blush first. She did a lot of blush too on the, on the, on old girl. Did I take that way too far this way? I think so. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, let me make sure it's blended out okay. I be feeling so dumb when I do my makeup and then it turns out like ass. Cause then it's like, why did you do it? You could have just, you could have just not. Okay. We got blush on. I know y'all probably can't. I don't know if y'all can tell or not. Okay. okay, then she said, add your foundation in like the other places, but do it lightly. I'm not gonna use like real foundation. I'm just gonna use this the glowy stuff and like build it up okay. concealer 
under the eyes but i'm gonna do it like not all the way under my eyes because i heard that makes it look more natural if you do like right here and you don't go all the way up and blend with your finger oh lord that was probably too much i'm just so impatient it's like blend 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 okay do we see a difference I need to get like a ring light for my camera. Okay. Do we look more awake? Okay, then she's supposed to use powder all over your face. I'm gonna conceal this pimple I have right here. So not your day to shine, Bookie. I look you have like some red right here too. Okay. I'll let that sit for a second and then do the powder and then the next step is lashes but i don't have any lashes so no lashes for me and then the last step is lip gloss and i look you already have some on but i'll probably put some low on top it's a little bit better than it was first piece of makeup girly i did my hair off camera well i just put leave-in conditioner in it i'm ready to get my hair redone already even though I said I was gonna try to keep it for a while, but it's getting out of control, Frizzy. Okay, and then for jewelry, I was gonna put some jewelry on, but I actually don't think that I'm going to, cause I'm not gonna wear gold, cause I'm wearing like black shoes, black bag with silver hardware. Okay, I have powder, but I don't have those little pressing puff things. All I got is this fluffy brush. And honestly, I feel like the powder takes away from like the glow. But we're gonna see. I saw somebody say like just put it here. Like mattify your under eyes. I kind of like that. I think that looks okay. I might do my forehead too. I don't really like a shiny forehead. I feel like every time I do my brows first, they just don't stay as slick. Okay, we're finished. Does it look like I did anything? If I had lashes on, maybe I would look a little bit more put together, but I can't tell. Okay, for fragrance, I'm just gonna wear a Scarlet Poppy. I'm not gonna wear any, mm, well, mm. I, I was gonna say I was gonna wear my fall fragrances, but low key, I might wear the Autumn Vibes. Yeah. All right, I will come back and chat with you guys after I eat lunch with Carter. I'm about to sit down and do my Bible time for the day really fast. Well, not really fast for like the next 45 ish minutes and then i'm gonna go get wendy's i think is what we're gonna have for lunch and then we're gonna head to the mall i kind of want to go to target too but I'm like, just to get some like i don't know we're gonna see we're gonna see where the day takes us but camera can count its days because baby i'm so sick like why was it recording in slow-mo for the last couple of clips anyways i went to go eat lunch with carter and i just left the mall and i was talking to y'all when i was in the car but apparently slow-mo says no and but the battery on here is about to die so i just left the mall i'm about to head over to crate and barrel and then probably go to target just because I want to pick up some things, there was not a lot of like body care stuff at Sephora in stock. Like all of the way was out of stock. I did think I got like one shower thing, but I mostly got like fall fragrances and 
stuff like that so i'm gonna show you guys everything when i get there i was trying to vlog a little bit but i'm literally sweating that's how like much anxiety i get in public and i know some people don't understand that because i do this but this is like in the comfort of my own space versus a thousand people anyways i'm gonna get over it one day i'm doing better and better every time i go out but yeah so the battery's about to die i ate lunch with carter I'm trying to remember if, I, if there was anything I was telling you guys, but I want to go to Creighton Real. I want to go see if I can find like a little pumpkin mug or something. I need to go to Starbucks too. So I need water and I've been craving a pink drink. Anyways, I will see you guys at Creighton Barrel. Hopefully. Hello. So I was trying to talk to y'all while I was in the car. I think I got a couple of clips that I'm going to insert from when I was shopping, but y'all know how I be. But we're about to do a haul we 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 did the full today we did the full i'm not gonna lie but it's been so long since i've been hygiene shopping really just shopping for myself excluding items for the house or for the kids so i don't know where we should start we went to a couple different places we went to target crate and barrel diptyque and lush let's start with lush because i really want to put these away so they don't get messed up but lush i've been wanting to go to lush Mm, it was not giving the vibes that i thought it was gonna get like i don't know if my nose is off or something but i just did not really enjoy the smells in there i don't know what it was but anyways we got this vampire bath bomb this is not the cutest one but carter's really into vampires so i got this one for him but i'm gonna put them away and save them for when i do their squishy baskets like around october 1st or something but they have the cutest look at this it's a little alien this is so stinking cute. I think Carson is really gonna like this one. So I got that for him. They love bath bombs. They have like these bath bombs that I got off Amazon that like have dinosaur toys in them and they love taking baths with them. So I thought these would be cute. And then I got two. Oh, see, it's already cracked. I'm like, I got two of the pumpkin ones. I got one for myself. And then I also got one for Carmelo. So I got that and another one, like I said, for Melo. And then something I thought was cool. This is like the only thing that really stuck out to me besides the bath bombs because I smelled like all the lotion, not all the lotions, but I smelled like the majority of the stuff they had. And I just was like, none of this is just screaming. That's what I want to smell like. Um, so anyways, I got this toothpaste. Oh, it actually smells like it's going to be really strong. And it's basically like a natural, I think everything at Lush is natural mess for your toothbrush i don't know you dip your toothbrush in here and it's like jelly i don't know we're gonna try it out because i was in the market for a new toothpaste and it was some out of toothpaste and i saw this at lush and i was like oh say less i'm gonna get that so that's everything about that. lush and then i went to dip tea and i got a couple candles i've never gotten candles from dip tea before so I was like, let's see what the hype is. Usually I just get my candles from like Bath and Body Works or Target. Um, so yeah, I got, or Valspar, like from Sephora or something. So I got the two of the Santal candles, just because I feel like these are really good, like just downstairs neutral scent for the house. So this is what it looks like. And I got two of these. These candles are so expensive though, so I'm gonna light them these one times and see what it's getting. My whole house better smell like this or else. I will not be repurchasing. Um, and then I also got the rose scent and I thought this would be really nice for my room. Um, and yeah, it looks like this. It's like the same type of packaging, but it smells like roses which I feel like is like an acquired scent. I didn't always used to be a big fan of the rose smell, but I actually really like it now that I'm getting older. <clears throat> and then, like I said, I got another one of the Santal ones. Just like the living area, it's not huge, but I wanted to have one in multiple places to kind of just like really smell everything up. And then he gave me some samples from their new, from their newer scents. This one is Dosun. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Give me old man or old lady. Um, this one is I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it because that actually doesn't smell bad. That actually smells like a really nice 
own fragrance. My camera's probably tripping because I just dropped it. But I can't pronounce it, but it smells, it smells good. Okay. I have a little box in my closet for samples, so I'll put those in there. Let's get rid of all this trash. Okay, next we went to Sephora. We got a big bag, but this is the smaller bag inside the big bag. So, I love this candle smell. It's the sparkling, I don't know. I will link, I'll try to link or if you wanna know, but anyways, this is like the most amazing candle smell. It almost reminds me of like champagne toast from Bath and Body Works, but just like a little bit, like a little bit better. So I also got that one. It's more of like a feminine and a girly smell, so I'm personally gonna put it in my bathroom. Um, and then, let me finish here. Okay, so y'all know we were smelling the fragrances of the sample sizes that I had in my room last night. And so the girl on TikTok, she had gave recommendations from the Clean Reserve brand and I ended up getting the Sparkling Sugar. This is just like a really sweet, florally smell. And it just kind of smells like, what it sounds like, like sparkling sugar. Like it just smells really sweet and feminine. And then I also decided to get the warm cotton. I decided that was gonna be like my, you know, if I get into a gym era, it just smells like very clean, like or like a Sunday perfume, like you're just lounging around the house. If you're really into fragrances and you wanna smell like something all the time, but you're not necessarily going anywhere and you just wanna smell like a clean laundry, like I feel like that's a perfect gym scent in my opinion. Um, I got that. I got a couple other things, some things I already have. I haven't used this in a long time, but I know like winter and fall is coming. My skin's gonna be super dry. Um, and I love the Necessaire Body Serum. I've repurchased it like a thousand times. So I got that. And then I've been wanting to try the Amica, but I didn't want to commit to the full size products because one, I don't really wear my hair out that often. Um, so I want to try it out in between braids. And then I also want to try out the leave in stuff like in my boho braids. And so I just got the Hydra Dream Kit. And I'm gonna try out like the little sample sizes first, see if how I feel about it. This was something that I found while I was in the checkout aisle, but I love the concept of this. I think it's so cute. It's totally on brand for if you know me from back, back, back in the hygiene era, but it's like uh, the everywhere spray to wipe. So you basically can put it on, like travel with it and put it on your toilet paper. Like say if you don't have wipes in your purse or wherever you're at, you spray it on the toilet paper and it just kind of like makes it a wipe texture. And I was like, oh, that's cool. So I'll spray it on my hair. It's kind of like this creamy, like white texture. You can wipe to freshen up. This one is scented. They have an unscented one, but this one smells really good. This definitely, I feel like could be really good for like, just like period hygiene in general, like keeping by your toilet. If you are somebody who uses toilet paper, if you follow me and you still use toilet paper, please convert over to wipes. They're not only, in my opinion, cheaper and last longer, you're, they're definitely getting you cleaner. Like toilet paper is just, it's not doing the job, okay? I hate to tell you, but it's just not getting it done. Everybody comes to my house, they're like, you don't have toilet paper? I'm like, no, we use wipes over here. Gucci cat and all, wipes. Thank you. And then, if you guys have been seeing this, I've been seeing it everywhere. Makai was telling me about this and that I should smell it or get it, so I smelled it. I didn't really know how I felt about it at first, but I saw like the girl on TikTok, I think her name's Katie, she was pairing it with a lot of different fragrances and everybody says it's just like a really good nighttime smell. And I do have some more like higher end nighttime perfume fragrances that I feel like I could mix this with, so I went ahead and got it. It's the Sol de Janeiro After Hours. And then, it's gonna be a little bit of a long haul. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Okay, also another one that I picked up as a fall fragrance. This is the Somebody Wood. I actually really like this. I have to open it up to like describe the smell again, but I feel like it's the perfect like fall fragrance. It's just like warm and cozy, but like has a little hint of like smokiness to it. I don't know what the notes are, but this is my favorite one that I smelled out of all of the ones by Fleur. Cause I know Not Your Baby and Missing Person are really popular, but I honestly think this smells better and it's definitely more on brand for the season. Oh my gosh, y'all know this is my favorite. If you watch me, I'm literally, if I could recommend any hydrating lip mask to anybody, it would be this one over like Laneige, Summer Fridays, everything. This is so good and they have it in different flavors and I never even knew. So I got it in Cherry Vanilla. It's the Lawless Overnight Forget the Filler Lip Mask. It looks like this. 
this and basically what it does is it just plumps up your lips and it hydrates them that's why i like it better than the laneige because it's got just like something extra especially for the price that you pay for like a laneige lip mask or summer fridays like you don't really get anything but like the hydration but this also plumps your lips which i love and it's in a cherry vanilla scent and i think it smells fire so i was excited pick that up and then, and then this was like a super random i just went in there i was smelling everything let's just see what they have in here so i got this is it island paradise oh isle of paradise body polish i have no idea what i'm gonna pair this with yet and it's definitely not giving fall or winter it's definitely giving like summertime or vacation like if you took a vacation in the colder months but it smells fire i don't know how to describe the scent but it's like very tropical <clears throat> i feel like this could go really well with like saint bart's by way which I was gonna get, but they were out of stock with. Or just anything that's like fruity, coconut, like tropical. Definitely go smell this. Anyways, it's a body polish. I got it because it smelled good and I was like, yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna use it with yet, but we gonna put her on the shelf. Okay, I got three more things from Sephora. I have been waiting so long to freaking get this. It's the like lip mask by Fendi and it was out of stock for forever. So I never got to try it. It's in like the cutest packaging. I love anything lip because y'all know I don't really make up light. And then it's got like one this kind of dispenser. Oh, I thought it did. Oh, you twist it. Okay, you twist it. And then it comes out. I already have lip balm on, but I can't tell if it smells good or not. But it's a lip recovery. Don't start doing that. I'm sorry I dropped you, girl. Got that. I love a good lip mask. So I've tried like Laneige. I've tried Summer Fridays. So I want to try this Fendi one. Okay, then I see this everywhere. I know y'all see this everywhere. I feel like this brand is like super trendy right now. And I've never tried anything from their brand before. I got the lip oil. The honey just smells really good. I got a lot of lip stuff. Might have OD'd it on the lip. I was also looking for a cream blush in Sephora. But I could not find Rare Beauty. Is Rare Beauty in Sephora? I feel like... That's a question I should know, but I, I don't know the answer to that. I feel like I can't smell anything because I've smelled so many things, but anyways, the packaging is cute. I'll let y'all know how I feel about it on my lips, but I already have like a ton of stuff on there, so we're just gonna leave for now. And then the last thing I got from Sephora was the Prickly Pear Hair Oil by Day. I think that's how you pronounce it. Not quite sure, but it smells heavenly, like having this in your hair and then if you just like that probably look dumb but you know what i'm saying like waft your hair past somebody they would be like oh you smell really good it's another just like very tropical smelling it's prickly pear so if you know what pears smell like i don't really know it just smells good and juicy and fruity and i really just like that because i'm like i have to moisturize this hair anyways and like braids hold a lot of like odor and smell so i was trying to find leave-in products and just things that i can put in my hair to just really make my hair smell good at target i mostly got like body washes and lotions and scrubs because they didn't really have a lot of body wash options at Sephora that i wanted to pick up like i really like the melrose and like just way in general the state parts the melrose they didn't have those in stock so i didn't get them but while i was in line at starbucks at target I saw these sweatpants. I said, okay, they're giving Aritzia. They're not giving like the same quality uh, as Aritzia, but let's be honest. If you're not new here, all I wear in the winter time is sweatpants. And then, y'all know, I was just talking to y'all about sweatshorts, like the Nike ones that I have. And guess what they had at Target? Some sweatshorts. I was like, oh, so what? Okay. I got. So. Your girl is back in her self-care era. I got those off. So I was basically just like walking the aisles and I was like matching up fragrances of like, you know, building routine. Cause when I do like my shower routines, I like them to be like coordinated, same fragrance group, you know, something that's just gonna make you smell really good. So, well, I got my sun toothpaste. First of all, it's the Toms. Okay. Um, and then I did the Method body. I used to really like Method. I just haven't like used it in a while but i always like the berry balance it just smells like fresh it's like a very just young youthful sweet smell <clears throat> and so i got this scrub to go with it it's from tree hut it's new to me but y'all know i really haven't been on my self-care ish it's the moonlight glow and it's not 
as sweet as the berry balance but it's in like the same family so i was like okay that will go well together and then to go with that i got the pomegranate raspberry um eos lotion this also used to be one of my favorites if you've never smelled the eos lotions they're literally addicting they smell heavenly like every single one of them um so love those and then i did end up finding the way melrose at the ulta inside the target so i got the scrub i got the lotion and i got the little mini perfume because i've never gotten a perfume before and then for the body wash they didn't have the the melrose body wash by way so i ended up getting the um peony rose water which is the same like the mel's rose anyways they smell similar if you want a dupe dupe there's dupes for way by the way i've talked about it before but like this for the body wash and then the raw sugar scrub it's in like a rose something it's in a purple bottle it's a polish it smells just like the scrub so <clears throat> yeah okay let me go grab him we'll finish up i found something so don't don't move okay because i really have something to put y'all just give me a second Shmella has joined us and I'm out of breath from going up the stairs but anyways I got um the iced coffee scrub from Tree Hut so of course let's go with the OGX coffee scent it's perfect for fall I personally can't use anything pumpkin because I'm allergic to pumpkin so that's like my fall scent I feel like that will pair really well with the um somebody would and then I also let me get you some water Anyways, the berry fragrances I was telling y'all about would go really well with the sparkling, the clean reserve. I'm going to do hygiene or little shorts with all these uh. products and stuff, so stay tuned for that. But to go with the coffee fragrance, I just got like a shea butter scent. And then I'm going to do the, the, the good thing last, so you better be, you better be fine then. <laughs> you want to help me? I got my razors, refills. I got some random beauty blenders. This was literally just an impulse buy. I thought they were cute and I was like, mm, say less since I've been putting my three-step makeup routine on. <laughs> and then I love this stuff. Girl, room spray, they got it down. Don't care. The purple one is my favorite and I use it in my room. And then I smelled this one and I think this one would be really nice for just like downstairs on the couch and stuff. Or just like in this area, it's bergamot and cedarwood. So it's got like a little bit more like gender neutral type of fragrance, which I feel like is good for like common living areas. Anyways, it smells fire and the scents last, in my opinion, like really long. I sprayed the couch just a couple of days ago with the Frenchies. Well, the purple one. I don't know what the scent is, but I'll try to link it or smell it the next time you go to Target. It's amazing. It's like an intoxicating smell. It honestly just, oh, I love it. Okay. I sprayed it on the couch a couple days ago and I can still smell it on the couch. So it lasts a long time. Last hygiene item. I think I cracked the code on the deodorant. Y'all know I've been having a lot of... Ooh, up and down with the deodorants first it was loom i used to want native loom i transferred over to aluminum free then went back to aluminum went to dove wasn't really feeling dove and then i want to try the fur deodorant but i'm probably gonna have to order it from online so i didn't see it anywhere but this this now we're gonna test it out and see how well it works but i feel like it's the perfect smell like it was exactly what i'm going for for the underarm smell like i don't want to necessarily smell like fragrant underneath your underarm because god forbid you do get a little you know it mixes with that smell and i just feel like it doesn't smell very well this just smells clean like clean fresh laundry not laundry but it just smells like it's sm it smells like you just took a shower like you know your basic shower smell of a nice body wash that's what this smells like so i'm super excited to try it out <clears throat> it's in the fragrance water lily and argan oil it's by secret it's their weightless dry spray so it smells so good Oh, I knew I got something else for my hair. I also got the way Melrose hair and body oil to go with my Melrose fragrances. Okay, let's get you something to drink. And then I got some home stuff from Crate and Barrel. So I want to show you guys that. And I'm looking at one of the things that I got right now. And I'm literally so excited about it. I gave you some coconut water. You want some coconut water? I'm trying to think what we're going to do for dinner today too. Because y'all know it's Friday night. And we already decided when I went to lunch with Carter... We're gonna watch the new Scooby-Doo movie that's out because I've been wanting to watch it and I haven't gotten a chance to watch it yet. So we're gonna watch that tonight. But let me just show you this. How pretty is this tree? Mom, come see. 
it's so pretty to me i've been wanting this for the last two years and i finally decided to get it this year but crate and barrel when i went there it was on the floor but they were like it's discontinued like you can't buy them anymore and i'm so glad i decided to um mom do you have the same sock like me yeah how did you keep those do you want it the same sock like me mm -hmm, i want to match you match me mm -hmm. Yeah, Carter has Spider-Man socks too. But um, anyways, they said they were discontinuing it. So I was like, can I buy the one that you have on display? And he's like, we don't have any here, anybody here from management that can authorize you to buy something off a of display. And I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess it's not meant to be. And then the other sales associate came out and was like, we have one in the back. It barely fit in my car, but I think it's just so pretty. And for me, since I do like, I mean, I personally feel like my decor style is minimalistic. I don't have like a ton of stuff, just enough stuff to kind of, you know, let you know what season it is in the house. So I just feel like it's a really good statement piece and I love it. I think it's so pretty. I got the big pot to come, go with it, but it's not coming until next week because I had to ship it from the store. So anyways, I'm excited about the tree. I feel like it just really sets the fall vibes. And then when the trees start changing colors outside, I feel like it's going to just be like even more pretty. So yeah, anyways, okay. I also got a couple of the things from Crate and Barrel. Also been wanting this. I've been looking for it everywhere. For it's Halloween. a service. For Halloween? For, for fall. For Halloween? For fall. Huh. Sure. For Halloween, Mama? Sure. Huh? Mm-hmm. Cool. That means it's a pumpkin, Mama. Oh my gosh, I can't figure out how to get the lid on so I can show you. This is so embarrassing. I got a pumpkin pot. I cannot get the lid to match. Anyways, I think this is so cute just to like keep on display by the stove. Right now I have like my little black witch Mommy, witch's brew pot. Anymore? Take a breath. There's apples and cotton stuff. Mom, there's apples and cotton stuff? No, there's apples and caramel in the fridge. Would you like some apples? Carter told me that he loved these and they're his favorite chocolate milk ever, so I bought a ton of them. And then when we were in Target the other day, he was like, um, I don't like that chocolate milk anymore. I like the True Moo. And I was like, or not True Moo, um, what's that other brand? Dang, I can't think of the name. Anyways, and I was like, boy, you can drink the ones at the house. He's like, no, I got, please don't listen. I know I don't bake. I know I don't bake. I know I'm not a better crocker. I know I probably shouldn't have bought, but it was on sale. So girl math, save money. And I've been wanting to get a different color anyways, but then as soon as I got this color, I was low-key like, mm, damn, I should have got the green one because I feel like the green would be really pretty in here. Um, but maybe in another season. But anyways, I'm gonna open it out of the box later, but it's this um, ribbed, I can't remember the exact name of the, of the style, but it's basically the bowl for the mixer. Cause right now I have a black one. Not right this second, no. Now that we've addressed the, the, the trash issue, it's black. I feel like the black doesn't really contrast well in here. So I got the exact same one, but the white one. The one I have though is this stucco texture. It was like a limited edition one from last year. The kitchen mixer also bought that impulsively on a whim because I thought I was gonna be Betty Crocker in here making Christmas cookies and I didn't use it once. I've used it one time since I bought it. It's giving one of my aunts needs to come over and cook or bake. Or I just need to get in my baking bag which I do plan on doing eventually or having that era of my life. So anyways, last thing in the haul and then we're done. I found them. I'm so happy. These are at Target. They're the pumpkin mugs. I think they're adorable. I'm going to put them up over here on display and then i'm also gonna bring out i'm also gonna bring out my nespresso i don't know what it is about fall but as soon as fall hits and the temperature is supposed to drop now nah, all of a sudden i want to drink coffee even though i don't necessarily like love coffee but unless it's like heavily flavored with like caramel caramel however you pronounce it and all that good stuff but i am bringing the nespresso back out put it back out probably this week or something but i'm gonna put these cups over there and yeah. Yeah, it's so cute. Aaron really drinks coffee more than me. He would like go to the gas station and get coffee. I was thinking about doing like a little mug rack. Like people put command hook strips underneath the shelves and then they hang the coffee mugs. And I was thinking about doing that. Like that. What are we going to eat for dinner? That's what we need to figure out. 
We should probably cook. Go like, go like this. Shh. Shh. He's blowing out of his nose. It's so cute. Shh. You're gonna blow both ears out of there. I literally swear, I know every person thinks that, but like, I literally have the cutest kids ever. Like, I don't, I like, I don't care. I have the cutest kids ever. And if you ever see them in person, they just like, it just fits so different. Like, they all are just literally so beautiful. It's insane. You better be careful with them teeth, my boy. And I was like, it hurts so bad. You're all literally so beautiful, so handsome. So handsome, you're all so handsome, handsome, handsome. The car line is going smoother. It is still taking a long time. But because we have the movies in the back, the baby and Carson stays quiet because, and so it's really not that, it's not that bad. It is still draining. And people will be dry cutting in the line. And then, I, listen, I felt bad afterwards because I felt convicted, but this lady was coming from the street she's not supposed to come on and was trying to cut in front of me and the crosswalk stopped me to let her cut behind go in front of me. Oh, I politely kept driving. No, 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 no. And then I felt bad because I was like, it's just one car, you should have let them go. But also it's like, how do y'all pick and choose who gets to cut the line? I'm confused because I would be doing the same thing too. Like if that's what I, you know, if that's what we're doing. Cause it's like everybody back behind me is waiting for an hour plus and you just pull up and then you just get to go. Who? But then I was like, I'd be trying to, what would Jesus do? So then I felt kind of bad afterwards. I was like, I should just let her in. Cause I was like, I wasn't being rude. I just didn't make eye contact. Like I saw the cross guard, like she was trying to tell me to stop. And I was just like, oh, I don't see you. Because I knew what she was doing. And I was like, that just doesn't seem fair. <laughs> that just doesn't seem fair. It's hot outside. We all want to go. We've already been waiting for like 30, 45 minutes. Girl, go to the back of the line or get there earlier and wait like everybody else. It just, it is what it is. But anyways. Say bye bye. See you later. What are we gonna eat for dinner tonight? I don't really want to eat like Subway or Mommy, or something. Are you going to eat your bag? Close on the eye. Think bug. Are you Mama's boy? Are you Mama's boy? Are you Mama's boy? Are you Mama's boy? The way he has his legs gripped around him. Yeah! Boom! Wait! 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 Wait